Uh, yeah, that's, um, yeah, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Last time on Heist Plays Dero Valley. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> what a, what a bit of a, uh, a pile that we're going to have to deal with here. <laughs> I guess we shan't run trains out of the food factory. Hey, Beyblade. Yeah. We, we recall the sadness that the, the 464 has put upon us. Whoop, whoop. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Plenty Sticks. ESD Brakeman. Sporting your nice green lantern. Indeed. Yeah, I think, um... I think we're going to go run somewhere else so that we can pay this massiveness down. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, last stream. CS Railway Society. Howdy. Antimatter 1207. Welcome. Blackstorm 118. Welcome. Feeling quite good. Got some exciting news uh, today that I'll, I'll probably be able to share with you guys early next week. Oh, and I didn't do anything. I mean, th this was just, uh, you know, normal train operations gone wrong last stream. You have to ch it was all videoed, so check out the last stream from Wednesday this week if you want to see how this happened. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see. Where where do we want to where do we want to start digging ourselves out of this hole from? Where should we go? T taking votes. I use the uh, the Unity mod loader, Beyblade. Military base. Oh, really? Well, we could try that. It's uh, 8.40, Wesley. 8.40 p.m. <laughs> we, uh, we ran not one, not two, not three. Yeah, but three locomotives into the yard and, and blew up a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> You have to check out the uh, last stream. But anyways, I think uh, we, we'll teleport to the military base and uh, and see what's going on over there. <laughs> Looks like the UP mainline in Nebraska a couple days ago. Ouch! Oh, yeah, the caboose. Yeah, maybe we should stop and pick up the caboose where we binned it. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know if there's any locomotives at the military base. We might have to go grab one. So it didn't matter that I teleported here, did it? Yeah, because all these jobs will just respawn. We're going to have to go to the iron mine or something. <laughs> this is worse than leaving your caboose in the foul. Hey, at least mine's in the clear. <laughs> Tyler McGonagall, uh, there is a link to become an ESD brakeman in the description. And for those not familiar, it's the uh, the new channel memberships we've done. The Breakman is the first tier of created. You get a cool lantern, a lot of emojis, and a, a couple other cool perks that are described on the page. So if you want to help support the channel, it's a great way to do it, and I really appreciate that. And it looks like a bunch of you guys are here today. So let's uh, let's go to the iron mine, I guess, and go find a locomotive. All right. Goodness, I've not been to the iron ore mine in a minute. Looks like we've got a, a Union Pacific patch DE6. So we got some horsepower here. What? Uh, I wonder what jobs we have while we're here. Where the hell's the station at this place? There it is. It's a pretty small station building, but let's see. Empty cars to the goods factory. Empty cars to food factory. Loads to the steel mill. Well, that's actually a fair amount of money. I didn't realize iron ore was that expensive, but I mean, it's pretty heavy. What's the grade out of the iron, iron ore mine? Is it that bad? I know the coal mine sucks, but I can't remember if the iron ore mine's that bad. That looks a little steep out there. We only have the one diesel, so we're theoretically only good for 1400s. Uh, my whistle's a six chime, average royal fan. Thank you. 
1.1. Hmm. Well, perhaps we'll, uh, we'll get over the road with that. Or, I mean, I guess somebody was saying the military base, and we're right there. Is there anything we could stop off? If we run that way... Yeah, if we run to the military base first, we're not going to make any decent amount of time, really. But, yeah, we could try, I guess, what, whatever is l not super heavy. 430 tons, 344. Well, technically, we could go tonnage with, with two of these consists. Let's put the, let's put the DE6's uh, money where its mouth is, shall we? All right, so what cuts are these? The 46 and the 93. Carl's on the ball today. Good to know, Thomas, and welcome. Thanks for being a brakeman. Let's see. So not this cut. So it's going to be these cuts over here, I think, because there's only the three loads. The 46, right? Yep. And the 46 and the 93. Okay. And they are both going to the B3L. Well, it's hard to argue with that. All right. Let's get inside this honking thing. Elephant style with the iron ore cars? What do you mean by that? Like multiple engines all facing forwards? Is that what they call it now? Well, I saved the caboose today. I, sp <laughs> I suppose we can go res rescue the caboose. Presumably, it's still on its side over there. Hey, Justin, if you're still in chat, this is where the... Uh, that's where the lathe shaft and starter is on an EMD, right? Start switch. <laughs> you see, you get a choice up here. It's iron or what? Iron or iron or iron or empties, pretty much. It's just not too much going on here. Anyways, what kind of horn do we have here? Oh, good. We have the, the, the stupid one. All right. We're forward, brakes off. Let's go get out on the bridge here. I pulled the yard. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna highball! <laughs> or what? Oh, Jimmy, get the hell out. Just leave. I know you're subscribed, but you could still leave. We've had iron, but what about second iron? Indeed. Let's uh, kick that up in reverse. It's fine. We'll go get the switch. There's a remote for this, but it's more fun to do it on the ground. Um, switch. Switch. And we'll get that one for later. Hey, look. We can actually look out the rear window when we crouch. That's a neat feature. Tractor with it. <laughs> they do that pretty well in in uh, DRL Valley. The uh, <laughs> the the DE2 in particular, actually. But easy now, gently, gently. Oh, I need to go see where we stopped. Actually, was that not quite perfection? Oh well, would have been funny. That's where the nice switch on this is on the 78s. Sometimes. Yeah, there we go. Knuckled in. All right. Hook that up. Cut the air in. Get run over by my own train because we didn't leave it secured. I did not set and center my own, my own train for myself. All right. Straight to eight, right? Said no one you've ever worked about switches. The DE6 also drifts if you get the bogeys flipped. Alright. Turn on some lights in here. Are we still building air? Jesus. Did we get the long cut first? No. Whatever. You know, speaking of remotes, we also have this one. I gotta turn it on first. The immersion is unparalleled. Just slam on the independent. This is how you run RCLs, right? 
No, no automatic break because we're in the yard. All right. Stand in the gauge and then start throttling it up, aiming it at yourself. I think that's the move. <laughs> a DM and IR skin would be great. Do I like cats? Cats are nice. A cat and dog enjoyer over here. How do you describe your own occupation? I get run over by my own train. Well, you know. OSHA and the union. Uh-oh. Don't make them come talk to me. Getting 200 PSI on the steam engine. How much did the whistle cost in USD? My whistle? Um... I only had to buy the two chunks of pipe uh, and then the stick of 1018 that I made the stud out of. Um, so it was about $150. It was pretty cheap. There was a lot more time that went into it. And if I had to pay my, my welder buddy who donated his time, that would have been a, a fair bit more expensive. Oh, well that's set up a lot quicker than I anticipated it would. <laughs> I don't know why the cars are doing the, the bouncy bounce, but... Come on, shove through it. Oh, that's right. Now I can do this. Magic. Don't even have to go in between. Okay, so now um, I need to go turn those jobs in, but I think I'm just going to put it in eight with the sand on. And uh, I'll go back to the station, turn those jobs in, and then, and then we shall begin. Where's the station? There it is. Nothing's ever gone wrong by doing this. Oh, shit. Christ. Fees. What can I pay? Um, yes. The train is... the tra Oh, God, I have so much money! Uh, mm, uh, mm. What's expensive? That looks expensive. This is a problem. The train is running away. How much money do we have now? 25 grand. That's 26. Yes, shut up. Let me pay this. Okay, and then this one? Okay, that's probably it. Now we can probably accept the job. Okay, good. And now this one. Uh, okay, where's the train? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's it's heavy. It was like three. It was like thirty-two cars. Of course, they left it in eight. <laughs> Welcome, Northern Isle. One M Batman one hundred and one. Welcome. Thank you for being an ESD brakeman. The only reason the cars are bouncing is because they're turning Russian. Well. Apparently, just run it straight to eight was the was the move. This is a pretty crappy grade through here. One point one, unstoppable remake. Yes, that's what I was getting at. Welcome, Devin. Speed and power. Oh shoot! I said I was gonna get another emoji of Jeremy Clarkson for this stream. I'll have to do that for the next one. Just got just got this thing in eight, and we're just gonna let it ride, I guess. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Uh, we want to go right at the junction, and we're gonna go around the the swirly. We're gonna do the the big Tehachapi. Oh, there's a video idea. Get a train long enough to run over the top of yourself through the loop. That'd be fun. All right, we're just coming speed now so we could do that turn off the sand so we can save some how much pressure does a steam whistle usually need to function I mean they'll function on I mean just a couple PSI if you really want it to get full voiced and do the thing you usually need over a hundred 70 through that switch is fine it's fine oh those numbers are getting spicy back there Let's start setting it up I need to get into the new gauges mod, because the pressures aren't right on these. Alright. And <laughs> on that bombshell emoji, that would be good. Alright, we're letting the air recharge here. Destroyer of rail yards. That is me. Not sure why that's my title already, but 
Does it mean you can play a whistle like a trumpet, Corellia? Um, not really, actually. Uh, maybe a single chime, I suppose, but you, you can't really make it jump harmonics like you can a trumpet. Oh, crap. We have to turn here, don't we? Uh, oh, we're already lined. Okay. But we do need more brakes. We would like we would like more air, please. Oh, we should have gotten more air already. It's fine. There we go. Kick it off. We haven't peed away all of our main reservoir yet, have we? No, nope, not yet. Five, but we're still percent and a half down. Okay. Grab some more air. But you didn't. You don't even highball. Well, I mean, we're we're going more than the speed limit, which I think is in excess of highball. Welcome, Chrome X74. How much trains back there? Fair amount. Oh yeah, we'd like a little bit more air than that. Like a lot more air than that. This thing's heavy. off that finally worked. This is 7400. We're not all over the ground yet. I do love the the EMD idle sound that Zybok added through here. Do I like the Oahu Railway? I'm not terribly familiar. I've seen pictures of their locomotives and there's some on the tech tree for railroads online, but um, I don't know much beyond that actually if I'm honest. So we're about to go. This is the, the aforementioned Tehachapi Loop segment, although it's quite long. Any plan for any more Railroad Tycoon 3 videos or older Railroad game videos? Actually, yes. Um, I, I've had a lot of people mentioning Railroad Tycoon 3 lately, and it would be fun to get the guys together and play some more. Um, and I was kind of halfway thinking partway through this stream, breaking out Lionel Train Town Deluxe, if you guys are familiar with that. Not sure if anyone would be terribly interested in that, but uh, that hits right in the nostalgia for me. That's a fender bender. Wait, we haven't gone off the rails yet. I'll say it later. Tyler McGonagall, welcome. Thank you for being an ESD brakeman. Thank you for joining us. All right, we got a 40 coming up through here. What do I think of the NZRJA class? I can't say I'm familiar with it. What causes a whistle to squeak? It's usually a problem with the languid plate in, uh, in many cases. It could be a number of different things though beyond that. Oh lordy, it's 40, right? It's 40 and we're doing 52, it's fine. That's what the air brakes are for. We haven't peed away our main reservoir yet. We got a 60 coming up. It's Fine. <laughs> the nostalgia just got weaponized. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever see me play Run 8 CR7966? Welcome, thank you for being an ESD Breakman. Um, I haven't played Run 8 since it really first came out. Um, I think it would be one that I would need to have somebody like my buddy Justin play with me um, or play alongside uh, to really get a narrative going. Because what I recall is, that, I mean, it's it's a really good sim, but I mean, it, as a really good sim, it also means that you're doing what train crew really do, which means you're staring out windows for a long period of time. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> without a beautifully detailed, perfectly accurate scenic map, uh, which at least was the case back in the day, um, you know, it's not terribly interesting, but if we can get a good conversation going back and forth, I'd, I'd be totally down to try Run 8 again. Tyler Sibley, what is the largest and or smallest locomotive that I've operated? Um, I mean, smallest of, in terms of real locomotives, I suppose. It's probably 346. I don't think I've operated anything smaller that, that we're gonna hit a tree. Uh, that's actually a locomotive. And biggest, um, somebody would have to tell me if a GP39-1 
dash two is heavier than 491. <laughs> and that would be the largest locomotive that I've allegedly operated. And we'll, we'll leave that there. I'm releasing my air when I should be setting it up a little bit more. It's fine. You will not, I was gonna say, the way that I phrased that, Justin, <laughs> I don't want you to play with me. I'd like you to be my conductor and or be my engineer and I'll sit in the seat and yell at you. Uh, exploding Toast, no, the Rio Grande did not actually have a DE6. The DE6 is not a uh, American locomotive. I've just got an American skin on it because why not? Oh god, I could traumatize Justin. We should do that in a minute here. Next next run, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, ouch. Brett calling me out. Yeah, no, te technically yes, Pee-wee is indeed a locomotive. I think of it like a tractor on rails though, so yes. Don't tell Pee-wee, I'm gonna have to deal with him more soon. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. K37, well, so the, the, I mean, it depends on how you're defining the engine, because locomotive and tenders, 150 ton, it's 307,250. So, but I guess just locomotive itself. Yeah, the GP39 then. A <laughs> clapped out SD9, gotta love it, man. Do I know what the next update for Railroads and Line will entail? It is, uh, it's gonna be the spline update, like, official, not just the construction tools beta. QMA did tell us this morning that he's, uh, pretty much done figuring out how to make sure the new splines save, so we should hopefully see that as the next beta branch. Monologuing, spicy sounds. Track gets steep again. We're coming up on a, on a junction here. Oh god, I hope we're lined to the left. Yep, okay. Well, that's a spicy curve through there. More air. More air. Uh! All right, there we go. K37s are overrated. Get out of here, you. How many exploded passenger cars will there be today? Good question. None so far, knock on wood. Heard of the Penzi A5. No, I'm not sure what the A5 is. I'm familiar with some Penzi engines, but not the A5. <laughs> Keep seeing me at the Colorado Reherd Museum on Instagram. Hey man, the, the algorithms just try and show you what you want, man. That's all I got for you. All right, we gotta, we gotta make up some time here. I think we got 60s coming up through here. And we just recently came from the steel mill in the last stream, so we should be good to just kind of let this roll, I think. Maybe let the air recharge a little bit. We'll notch the engine up, get the air compressor working faster, because Zybox simulated that, because he's a madman. Not to your point. Yes, we will highball. We will do Shaq proud. Can I throw the reverser while loading? No. Wow, that's actually fun. Although we're already doing 60, so. Some amount of spicy sounds. It's fine. Set them up. I really appreciate the air brake mod with the non-self-lapping, or sorry, the self-lapping brake on this. And then the steam engines have the non-self-lapping, so it's fun. Why do you sense evil around Peewee? Uh, only because it's mad at Leighton for dumping it in the dirt. Throw full throttle, okay, I mean, if you say so. Oh, hang on. Gotta throw the reverser first, Tice. There we go. <laughs> Good morning, Timmy. It's not spicy until the cars start riding on one rail. 
we'll be seeing a new industry in the next few updates for Rare Earths Online. No, but I can tell you, uh, well, next few maybe. Not, not terribly soon, but I can tell you that uh, we discussed the roadmap today. Finally, we had our meeting, and we're going to be getting the draft roadmap together internally as a team for Rare Earths Online this week. And we should be able to share it with... Oh, Jesus, that's the oil well. No! No! Pulls up console. Dump it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. Plug it. I guess we could run through the Y and then just shove through it. But let's reset the train. Just put it in run 8. Sand on. How to ruin a locomotive by heist. Go! Oh, it's it's not going to want to move these this parking lot of train cars that are now all set up hard. All right, so we'll just run across them and bleed their brake cylinders manually. Because Zybok added that functionality. I'm just holding Shift and B. Now made so much easier by the fact that you can jump around. All right, and now the train easily moves. Beautiful. Waste of fuel, waste of time. I pulled up the... I was trying to get my Switch remote, and it pulled up console, and then it was too late. I forgot that I was coming from the oil well last time. Okay. Stop that loading. Grab that. Where's my comms radio? We're ready. We need a beans emote. We'll have to figure out what the beans emote is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael, yes, the Colorado Railroad Museum is actually just a circle. It's actually almost exactly... Uh, if you were to scale it down to HO scale model trains, it's almost exactly your Plywood Pacific 4x8 railroad. We did that math the one time. It's pretty funny. Maybe someday they'll they'll have some more track. It's in the in the plan, long range plan. But I mean, it just depends on what they can get. It's it's bad to load in notch eight against your independent in the wrong direction, right? If you count the notches, it's technically only run seven on the DE6. Are you kidding me? Aren't you supposed to be a little more drunk and end up at the first station when you go down the wrong lane? Yes. Yes, that's usually how that goes. Come on. It turns out that tonnage iron ore train with one locomotive is painful. say steam locomotives have personality which ones have the worst personality to deal with i always heard horror stories about the 488 prior to its rebuild recently and then the 480 at the cumbrace and toltec and the drango and silverton respectively i've not had to really deal with either of them though so i can't speak for sure When the spline update comes out, can you make the old track update into the new tracks? No, that it's going to be the new tracks only. When we see the roadmap coming out, I did, yeah, sorry. I literally went off on the wrong tangent, and it threw off my train of thought, and my train, actually. Um, the roadmap, I mean, I don't know when it, when exactly we'll publish it. We're going to be talking, um, talking about it specifically on Saturday, next Saturday, so in a week. We should have concurrence on the roadmap. So um, best case, I suppose, midday Saturday next week would be when we would publish it. 7400D, man. We need new traction motor leads over. Yeah, it's fine. We're only pulling... We're not pulling any amps. We're in run eight, and there's zero amps on the gauge. I don't see any problem, Justin. <laughs> oh, lordy. All right, we could probably turn the sand off now. We're going fast enough. Not that we have any left. All right. But are we going to get this time bonus? Oh, God, we got plenty of track to run still. Although, based on the uh, the live stream timer, we might we might be in a uh, good case here. Out. Yeah, sorry, Brett. Sorry about the rules. We don't follow radio etiquette on the ESD, okay? Ronnie, when we don't have an articulated engine at the Railroad Museum, what we have, um, the engine, the big one on the side that you're talking about, is the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 5629. It is a 484-05B uh, class locomotive. It's, it's pretty cool. It's the locomotive that got ding-dong ditched to the museum, which is my favorite, one of my favorite stories. 
Do I like the EMD SD89? Not, I don't really know much about it, but anything past an SD70 has always kind of been a piece of crap. So, I've not gotten the Root Manager mod or the Remote Dispatch mod, Batman. How many locomotives are done slash close to being done after the long-awaited spline update? A, a handful are close. Maybe three or four bean zone, come here. You're outing Jimmy for his track pun. Careful, careful Jimmy, I'll throw a lime at you. Thoughts on the Flying Scotsman? I, I mean, it's neat. I remember it from MSTS fondly when I was a kid. Can't say that, I mean, the, the real one's cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. How do you ding-dong ditch a locomotive? Now, uh, Wings, the CB&Q engine that got painted brass was, um, that was its sister 5632 that got scrapped. Yeah, I would like to run 5629 on the main line. Is there a crazy stream delay, or is chat just slow to delay to what I'm, what I'm saying, I wonder? I don't know. We're getting up to a good clip. We're actually starting to overheat this thing. So I guess we can notch it back one, seeing as we're doing the speed limit now. Um, anyway, so the, the 5629, uh, when it got donated to the museum in the early 1960s by the railroad, the, uh, <laughs> the, the CB&Q had trackage that ran into Golden from Denver that's now run by BNSF, of course, uh, that services Coors, Coors Brewery. It's right across the street, pretty much. And um, they basically just built a spur track across 44th Avenue to the museum without asking anyone, without telling anyone, without getting permits or anything. And then they just shoved the 5629 into the museum on the end of a freight train, cut, you know, cut it off, pulled away, picked up the track as they left and just went, boom, locomotive, bye. And I mean, like, the, the cops showed up and were pissed, but by the time that they could, like, do anything about it, the train had already come and gone, they'd pick the tracks back up. So, it's <laughs> one of my favorite things. Stream delay, yeah. So I guess, um, man, I didn't realize I I've st I started using stream elements, and I guess it automatically puts a stream delay on, which I'm not a fan of. I might uh, I might reset with a uh, with a shorter delay here after this run. Oh, a CNS? I didn't realize it was the CNS. Oh, you, you, you're just talking ancient history. Thanks, Justin. Or I guess that was in the joint time, wasn't it? Words and things. Okay, coming into the steel mill, we gotta go to the B3. Um, let's not do this at 60, shall we? Where is my remote? Uh, there it is. Okay, we're lined into the B yard. <laughs> Which one's the B3? Can anyone see the signs from here? Pretty sure it's to the left. Maybe we'll, we'll set up a little air. Okay, B4, then B3, second one. Oh, the one that we're so conveniently lined into. That's nice. All right, now we'll pull through it. No, I don't need a shovel. I need to slow down my load there. <laughs> What's the caboose doing on the map? That's where we dumped it off the side of the railroad. I I ball through the yard, boom. And All right, just dump the air there. That's fine. Looks like the whole thing's on the on the track now. Oh, it just about those cars are about all that can fit in there. Anyway, let's see if we made the uh, the bonus time here. Oh, pfft. handily. Look at that. Well, that was easy. All right. Yep, 21 minutes. Time bonus. No environmental damage. That's a first. All right. Let's see. That engine does rev pretty well. Let's see. Maximum split the difference. Thanks, Jacob. I appreciate that. 
Anyways, let's take a look. So we still got to pay 75000 to clear the fees. Oh, we okay, so we can clear our fees. Well, that's exciting. So we'll clear off those, uh, couple, you know, couple million dollars. Um, so let's pay this guy. And then I guess anything else we choose, well, it, it'll just be whatever. So I guess we might as well pay to service our locomotive. Because I'll just it'll just pay the, the difference then and then bunk and then clear all the, the fees. Because magic, look. And now, now presumably the uh, the insurance copay has probably gone up a crap ton. So, yeah, fifty six, half a mil. Okay. Okay. Well, I am kind of. I'm gonna take a quick look and see what the delay is set to. Now that I've got the new plugin. Because it's it's a little smidge annoying for me to keep track of what's going on. Um, so let me see about that real quick, and then and then we'll keep going here. Automatically, I'm not sure where it is in OBS actually. Might might only be a setting when I'm not streaming. Perhaps I don't know. Maybe we can just live with it. Okay, well, maybe we'll just live with it. Because it's actually, it's, the stream delay is not even enabled, so it's just being, maybe it's, um, maybe it's me watching the stream on YouTube that's the delay. Anyway. <laughs> maybe the live chat's just behind on my end. Okay. Well, then. What do we have, I guess, while we're here, I guess we could run back down to the harbor. We've got 20 grand, so we only need 80 to get the uh, the passenger job. see what uh, what jobs are on the table here shunting I don't really feel like doing any of that goods factory goods factory that's the way they want to go <laughs> the shunting that we just <laughs> just picked up so I guess we could do those they're only one drop off though although we are on the wrong end of it I don't know if we'd get it in nine minutes though Logistical hall back, back from which we. Oh, actually, that's west. Never mind. Steel rails to the harbor. Fair amount of steel rails to the harbor. Be another decently oh. heavy train. Oh God, I forgot I was in Discord. It's a Mikkeli. Welcome. I think we'll probably just take these two jobs over to the harbor. Jordan Perkins, welcome. Thank you for being an ESD brakeman. Okay, so these two jobs are the 23 and the 73. So the 23 going to the C yard. And then this is the 73 going to the E yard. Your stream delay is about 30 seconds or so. Well, that's stupid. There's not even a. Uh, there's not even. <laughs> it's not even turned on in OBS. Oh, well. I was just going to sit here, and then you started talking about stream delay, like, oh, I can help with that. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure why um, the settings not turned on. I added stream elements to uh, to my OBS so that I could get a little bit more fun, advanced stuff going <clears throat> on, but um, apparently it's added that delay, so maybe that's a setting in stream elements somewhere else as a plugin. I don't know, but the, the default OBS setting doesn't have it. <clears throat> you said you were running Streamlabs? I am running just Open Broadcaster. I'm not Streamlabs edition. Okay. I'm running straight. That's right. Sorry, you can't turn the breakers on unless you flip the knife switch. Stupid. Anyways, um, this Streamlabs has its own delay built in for gotcha. like the donation widgets and stuff. It's a separate thing you have to figure out. I figured that out because someone was complaining that my stream was way behind yours, so I fixed it. Oh, weird. Mm-hmm. 
Nathaniel, welcome to the SD Brakeman. Tyler McGonagall, did the double fairly locomotive have any advantages? And if so, what do you think they'd be? I mean, it had plenty of advantages. I know I was talking, we were talking smack to it because, I mean, it's pretty weird, but obviously they did extremely well for the Festiniog back in the day. They're a, they're a neat locomotive design, kind of weird, obviously, but um, the, uh, the whole thing of it is, I mean, you get a pretty small package with a lot of power with the two engines in it and every axle's powered. I mean, it, it's, there's a fair bit to it. So, and obviously also better water management uphill if you have an uphill end, basically. So it's kind of a neat thing. Uh, okay, so this is going to the C yard and this is going to the E yard. The C yard's a stub that you have to back into, right? Am I remembering that right? Yeah. I don't know anything about this game except you can make explosions go happen. <laughs> so <laughs> well, fair enough. I'm not qualified to answer. <laughs> yeah, C yard you gotta back <laughs> in, so I think we will put the C yard cars right ahead right behind the locomotive. And then we'll get the E yard cars and we'll have those uh Yeah, we'll have those be on the back and we'll run through the E yard and then shove back. You're not trying another one of those hundred car runs, are you? Okay, good God, no. <laughs> no, we're gonna run. Uh, we're gonna run two consists. It's probably gonna be about fifteen cars, maybe twenty. All right, I trust you more with that than the stupid video you did with a hundred cars. <laughs> it was nuts. Yeah, those. Uh, those. Those are fun. They just take. I mean, goodness. I mean, we live streamed setting that train up, and it was a, almost a two and a half hour live stream. That just that. So. Let's make the hook here. Apparently not. Maybe not make the hook. There we go. We'll deal with the air brakes. Shut up. You want me to mute this guy that keeps asking for something, something, Roblox? Uh, He's asked it like six times, so. Oh, no, he doesn't need a mute yet. I, I've, I've only seen it once, and I know Brett just told him to, to chill out. Um, I, I haven't tried any of the train sim stuff in Roblox. I know a lot of people make neat locomotives in it, and I don't, I don't honestly know enough about it. So may, maybe sometime, but I'm not planning on it anytime soon. I know I'm not running a steam engine, I'm running a diesel. Filthy, filthy diesel that goes... You don't even have a link to your Discord in the description? My goodness. I don't. I know. For shame. Let me grab it for chat. Chat wants it. So. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it normally is in there, but yeah, I guess I just... I didn't set up the event page on... Uh, on uh, YouTube first. I just streamed right from OBS, which is probably why the delay is on too, but oh well. There you go, chat, and that should help. Or that should work, I think. I haven't tested it. Or thought about driving the F3 or F7 in TS 2022? May I mean, maybe. I don't. I don't see terribly much fun of what, what they are, um, unless there's a really good model of the Fs that I don't know about. But the default ones are just kind of whatever. All right, lined back, he says to no one. Somebody says you did an impression of a diesel horn? I did. Definitely gonna need that clip for the soundboard. <laughs> you, you are gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. T t tell me that it's wrong. <laughs> Other than the Rio Grande, what's another railroad that I like? I don't know. Good question. I'm only super familiar with the stuff from the Rio Grande, and even then, I'm 
nowhere near a uh, historian or expert like many are. Um, I always thought the UP big steam stuff is cool. So UP's neat. Uh, soft spot for Cascade Green Choo Choo's of the BN because I saw them a bunch when I worked for the uh, when I worked for BNSF. All that good stuff. Who's running the shove? No one. That's the fun. A diesel would sound better with a six join. You have a remote. You're fine. I, I'm not using it. All right, we're gonna go. Ah! Wow. Okay. I mean, it was. Per what was that? It was perfect. It, well, you'll see on stream. It was perfect, but but too perfect. I didn't hit the like, the car hard enough. I just dumped the air as we were coming in, and it uh, it did a thing. So now I guess we'll just bump oh. into it. I just now saw you dump the air. Honestly, that stops. Like that's too fast to stop when you dump the air, right? Um. Apparently, so Zybok has the um, the cars modeled with um, fast acting K valves. Which I'm not familiar. I mean, I've never gotten to run with them, so I don't know how fast they're supposed to dump when they dump. But it's it's pretty blisteringly quick. Okay. So at least it just in the, seems in the game. stupidly fast. So. All right, 19 cars, and the splits between 14 and 15. So this is 19 that I'm on top of. 18, 17, 16, 15. And then 14. So did this? Did these knuckles make? Probably did. We'll see if we dump the air when we try and pull out of town here. All right. Let's set the clock ticking. I mean, at least you won't get very far. That's <laughs> true. That is true. <laughs> I should have left it in run eight like last time. Didn't last time end up with a bunch of explosions. No, no the last run that we did just just a minute ago. Okay. His last stream was a lot of explosions. <laughs> Wise guy gamer. Hey, Heist, did you know SP4449 ran a BNSF business excursion? It was painted black and everything. Um, I will take what is the first steam locomotive Heist ever saw for 5,000, Alex. I saw a 4449 in black with uh, pulling that excursion, running through Edmonds, Washington, with my granddad when I was about six, six or seven. For five thousand, though. For five thousand, that's a big, that's big high slower right there. Raven Amir, welcome to the ESND Brakeman. Thank you. <laughs> high slower's uh, um, Jeopardy win. Yeah, high slower Jeopardy win. Uh, mm, sometime perhaps. Does the MOW actually watch Heist's videos? Do they actually Find know out. <laughs> what, what do I think of NS? I don't know much about NS, honestly. I don't know much about the Eastern Two Roads, other than CSX is apparently bad, but that's just from memes. I actually saw an NS diesel on, on the Union Pacific line over... So I live in Arizona, for those who don't know. Yeah, they, they make them over here every now and then. I mean, just horsepower yeah, was, trading, so... It was just in the middle of a Union Pacific train. Sandwiched between a couple of their diesels. Yeah, so the, the railroads just have horsepower hours that they share. If UP at an interchange point is having a bad day and they need an extra locomotive, and NS has an extra one, they'll say, hey, can we borrow that? And it's like, okay, yeah. And then for every horsepower, for every hour that they run it on UP, UP will then just owe that back and trade locomotives to NS. So you'll you'll see them on, on like lease or loan between railroads here and there. Must have been there for a while because it was right in the center of the consist. Yeah. Big old, big old container train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> super, super long trains with way too many locomotives. Yeah, that sounds sounds about right these days. What well, was something like? I don't know. I'm guessing 200 cars, and they had like five diesels in between it. Sounds about right. Yeah, probably 200, 200 plus. So two on the front, two in the middle, and one near the end. Raven joined the SD Brakeman just for the P in the cup emote. I love it. <laughs> Who is CS Railway Society? Uh, that is my buddy Justin. 
doxxed. Uh, okay. He was on the um, the video that I did with the big boy, where he, he was the pilot. Ah, uh, so. okay. Oh, we got to figure out. I haven't out... seen them before, so. Yeah, he just uh, recently joined up as a an, a brakeman on the channel. All right, so um, either we'll run right past the caboose and then forget about it. I don't know. I don't know what's funnier. Do we stop and pick it up, or do we just narrate like David Attenborough? Here we see an abandoned caboose in its natural habitat. Not quite. Where is it? Well, I, I'm guessing I have stream delay. <laughs> it's over here. It's over here somewhere. <laughs> ah, yes. And here we see the ESD caboose in its natural habitat. Resting. Asking for tummy scritches. All right, I'm gonna plug it. Let's get let's get that caboose. Do you only get one caboose into Euro Valley? Uh, yeah, you just get the one, and then you have to like spend like ten grand to to move it places. Oh lordy, I really should. You know, it's probably the maximum rerail cost anyway, so we're just gonna do it. I don't feel like respotting this mess and then re-releasing the air. Is it not just like completely broken? Um. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how they handle maintenance costs on the caboose. Does, do the wheels still roll? <laughs> well, you know, it can just go gadunk, 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 gadunk down the track. All right, we're going to play the jump across and release all the brake cylinders, man, mini game. I didn't realize it was that far away from the track. Yeah, it got thrown off. No, it's it's in perfect working order. <laughs> oh, oh, and we just, oh, hell, the no <laughs> For shame. Unlock coupler, unlock coupler. Come on. I put this just thing in running. I'm actually waiting to see what happened. <laughs> we, we separated. We pulled apart. Hmm. Let me put it in run eight and reverse real quick, and we'll go until it goes bunk, and then we'll, and then we'll go again. Is my remote still synced up? Yes, it is. Okay. We'll, we'll run, run out on the cars and, and pop all the goddamn air again. Till it starts doing that, and then we'll do that. Did we get it? Okay, we got it. Go! Go now, choo-choo! Ride now! I, I kind of like Perry's suggestion. Just leave it in the foul and run it over in, in run eight. Well, I mean, kind of, kind of. Or excuse me, he says uh, at eighty. I'm oh, assuming well, miles you know, an hour, probably, kilometers an hour. Kilometers an hour, because DRL Valley. There we go. I mean, if you can't break it, you might as well test the limits, right? <laughs> True. Much like the steam engine. How much standard. abuse can it take? Oh God, we've got an e bell. That's enough to give you PTSD. There we go, back on here. Yeah, major wreck. There were several major wrecks in the last DRL Valley livestream. The last DRL Valley livestream involved me being much too cavalier with my railroad operations. Yeah, no. Uh, yes, Lord of the Rings reference. Precisely, Jet Destroyer. <laughs> to Theoden King. <laughs> the, the best character. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. And Rohan will answer. <laughs> Death! Best speech. What did he say? He just started screaming death over and over again. <laughs> you shall not pass. Do I know the show Petticoat Junction? I'm aware of it. I haven't watched it. But... I have never more, heard of that show. More trees to run through. It's a show that the uh, the Sierra Number Three is in. One of many productions it's in. Mm, televised train. Got it. Indeed. Jay, welcome to the ESD Brakeman. No splody, yeah, no splody boys right now. We're just hauling rails. 
Now they're quite short rails. I'm not sure what rails we can get that actually fit on one flat car, but whatever. We're on the speedy section of the map, but we're not going to get terribly speedy. And he bell and a single note horn. It is a little curse to the combination, isn't it? Oh man, and I said I was going to troll Justin with my with this run, and I forgot. Okay, next one. Somebody remind me to be mean to Justin for the next uh, next run that we do. Okay, that's 70, so I guess maybe we'll set some air up. Rohirrim theme is great. Can confirm. Banjo for thundering down Bravo Scruggs looks from the theme. That's awesome. We are planning for changeable whistles and railroads online, yes. I don't know what to tell you, Beyblade. Talk to the uh, people who developed the mod manager. When are we adding the whistle agrees, disagrees emotes? Oh, that's, that is a great idea. I think I've got a, a space for a couple more now that more members have joined. So the more breakmen we get, the more emotes we can have. Um, so after the stream, I'll go look into getting a couple more put in. Do we have a cancel big boy emote yet? <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> that's another good ad. I feel like that should take priority, honestly. <laughs> 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 yeah, Sky, it is in fact 9.35. My computer says 9.32 because it's weird about time. Well, that's interesting. That's 60 through the switch? Ah! Nails tunnel portal. That's a little spicy. More piano cup emotes. We've got the one. There's the 40. Got a nice big set going. I take it the thing has not been discussed. Uh, the thing? No, no things. No things have been discussed. Why would you say that in a live stream, you dick? Just checking. I mean, they'll find out eventually about the thing with the stuff. They will find out about the thing with the stuff eventually. Somebody mark that word. It'll make more sense in about a week. Well, depending which thing of the, with the stuff you're referencing, it might take several months. Well, yeah, it depends. They'll know some things. They'll know some things with hints of other things. But what will they exactly. know? Exactly. They will know nothing! <laughs> Good day, sir! <laughs> Remember, the harbor is good for 80, indeed. Does Dero Valley have um, uh, speed restriction by friction stuff? By friction? Yeah, like if you spin the wheels too fast, will it slow down? Uh, yes. Yeah, if you wheel slip, you'll stop applying tractive force. I should have worded that better. That's not what I meant. Um, is there some? Do you know if there's some amount of friction applied to the train because of? friction in the bearings. Um, I'm not actually sure. I imagine they probably I've, I've noticed that, that somehow. I've noticed that the curves are simulated to make you slow down somewhat. With how sharp they are, they should honestly probably do more, but... Tristan's back, if you hadn't noticed. I did see that. He's just He's lurking. Back because... <laughs> Someone was saying things. I didn't say anything. Loose lips sink ships, Mick. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? You said more than nothing. 
but less than things, so. I just have a block of cheese here on my desk that I'm uh, shaving away and eating, so. How much of a donation to leak the stuff and things? Uh, <laughs> That's a pretty big donation. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna put a price. One million dollars. We're not. We're not gonna put a price on that. I appreciate your thought, but we're not gonna put a price on that. It's a little important. So. I like how Mickley's just a simple man with his block of cheese. It's good. <laughs> no, it's, it's Colby Jack. I really like Colby Jack. What's up, Sir Kai? Welcome. Thanks for being an ESD brakeman. Yeah, good thing I'm yeah. not a ship. I, yeah, I would hate to see what a sunken locomotive looks like. Actually, there is one in my state that I've not seen. There is a. There's an 060 in the river near Ocean Shores where they uh, they put one in the river for a, the filming of a movie. What? Yeah. A movie? Um, some, like, only released in France, French film, and they burned down this whole town at the end, and they actually did, like, burn down a whole set town, and they run this locomotive out, and then the bridge burnt down, so they run the locomotive off the bridge, and, it, and they just left it in the river. And it says Finn at the end. Pretty much. Tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you guys think I was talking about the other thing? Because I was talking about the living quarters thing. Oh, no. The, I, was, I thought you were mentioning that thing. No, I haven't talked about the living quarters thing. Although I did mention it in my Discord, so I think it could be public knowledge, I suppose. I thought you put it in the in the super I, secret. I, I, I put it in the uh, I put it well I put it in the super secret other one, but I also put it in the uh, in the train chat in my Discord. Yeah, um, I haven't signed Great paperwork hat. yet, but um, I'm going back to Colorado. I'm moving back. I'm actually gonna Whoa. I'm actually gonna be working for the the Colorado Railroad Museum in an official capacity again, and more official than I did before. So that's really really freaking exciting. So. It's gonna go play with the big chooches. I'm gonna play with the big chooches all the time, and I'll be there with cameras all the time. So that's really exciting for the future of the channel, and really exciting for the future of me and my happiness, which is also exciting. So. Yeah. What do you mean? Fact. Requirements are great, and not ever finishing products are great. I don't know what your problem is. Something, 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 something. <laughs> something, something. Grumble, grumble. I don't have any relation to this. I can say whatever I want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the fun bit about that is that Colorado is a lot closer to Arizona than wherever it is you live now. Oh, Jesus. Going a little fast through this curve here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, it is. It is a lot closer. Great, Mick. Now you're going to make him reconsider his whole decision. <laughs> I need to move further away from Mickley. <laughs> I will find you. Oh, oh no. All right, so we're drop, dropping off the rear cut at E9I. Somebody said the harbor was good for 80, so I'm going to start notching up here, I guess. I'll be right back. Thanks, everyone. How much, will I be, how much will I be paid? Not much. It is a pay cut, but it is a happiness boost. I think it's the right move for me, so. That's yeah, I mean, you're young. You've got a lot of life left to live. To, and to, to make doll hairs. Yeah, gotta and go I, play with trains while you can. And and I have a very lovely Mrs. Heiss, or Miss Heiss. She's not Mrs. Heiss yet, but we'll, we'll be out there together, and that'll, that'll make it easier. So, A9's going to be to the right, and it's going to be that track. Right? No, that's E8. Let's not do that. We'll go there. All right, so now we're going to get on the uh, 15 through 19. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the last of the cut. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure if I got run over. Hopefully that's it. And then, uh, what is five cars? Five cars, yeah, and we'll cut those off. 15, 16, 17, yeah, five cars. All right, there's that. Bunk. Curse level railroads. There we go. We'll set up a smidge of air here, and we gotta shove this thing back into the sea yard. Yeah, that is a bit of a delay and a half right there. We were griping about being run over brutally, and then it was 
a while before you actually got run over. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm not sure because there's no delay turned on, so I think next time I'll just prep and stream from YouTube, so. Fun question. How much stuff are you going to have to sell in order to move? Nickley wants your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, here, here, I'll tell you why I want it. See, I can pay for shipping. I can pay for shipping your stuff to my place, and then I can sell it on eBay as YouTuber merch. Oh my god. Neat. <laughs> Genuine, uh, authentic I'll... YouTuber used random houseware. <laughs> Was in Heiss's own house. Um, I'll sell your uh, your trains for you. Um, I'll take good care of them. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I think he'd take those with him. Just having met the guy. I mean, if they if they couldn't go, you know, I I don't know, you know, <laughs> they've got a home right here on the way. <laughs> CMDR sweeper. <laughs> T talking the truth, they always used to call four ninety one my my big girlfriend. So. Love I'm it. sure your significant other's jealous. Well, naturally. <laughs> Gamer bird bath water in a jar. <laughs> oh, Brett. no. Brett. <laughs> Brett. The fun fact is that someone would buy that for the right price. I touched this. Uh, this is how, I guess. Yeah. Uh, some plays, you're going to ask if I looked into the railroad at LB and Centralia, Centralia Chehalis didn't work out. Yeah, you know, I heard they were bringing back the Mountaineer Scenic, and I was hoping that uh, that was going to be a thing, but the opportunity came to go back home, quote-unquote home, home away from home, and uh, that's it was too much for me to pass up. So I'd been joking about doing it for about a year now at least, and then uh, having the opportunity to do it now is... Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really excited. Okay, so I think this is the sea yard this way. We'll find out. Is it gonna be like a like a full time job type yeah. deal? Yeah. Part time. Full full time. Uh, full time shop. Also dealing with landscaping too, because that's the that's the need they have. So, but the landscaping is very minimal, and there's a core of volunteers to manage to do that. By the sound of it, so. Nice. Deal with some amount of management, oh. and then also spend the rest of the time in the shop and with operations and stuff. So it's it's going to be a win for the museum and a win for me. So more whistle action? Hopefully so. I mean, obviously I'm going to be at the museum with resources. I would love to... I mean, the, the bowls are interchangeable. It'd be fun to make a different bell, and that's the, the sonic character, the, the whistle. It's, it wouldn't be too hard to make. It would actually be really fun to try experiments and stuff. But I mean, it just depends on, on what time is there and all that, so... I six chime part two electric boogaloo. Well, naturally, I'll be I'll be <laughs> lobbying to put that on the the engines all the time, and Jeff will tell me no because it's not historic. I think that's that, yeah. that how that conversation. It's already at a different goes. railroad anyway. <laughs> it's been moved. <laughs> Ragnar Adventures, welcome! Thank you for joining the ES and D Brakeman. Why is one half the exploding boy texture upside down? I'm not sure. Probably just a mapping thing. Oh, I guess we need to let this roll in while I go accept a job. I forgot we parked the other kind of cars. I don't know where the uh, where we're going to be doing as far as the... Oh, that's the one that we still have. We make the time... Oh, we barely made the time bonus there. So I actually, we're going to need to go and... Uh, we're, we're, we're just letting the train shove itself at the moment. So the Colorado Railroad Museum operates year-round then? They do. I mean, they don't necessarily operate trains 100% year-round, but they are open year-round, yes. They're, there's okay. typically a, a dead spot in the middle, um, kind of January to, to March-ish, where it, it's kind of less visitorship and there's not too many trains that run. Um, they'll run every Saturday, though, one way or another, typically, except uh, during Polar Express, when then the Saturdays are Polar Express performances, but... Yeah, so lots of lots of choo-choo operations in my future, hopefully here. There's a pretty big railroad museum uh, in South Chandler, um, but I don't I don't know if they actually run anything. Randolph knows he he knows way more than I do about that stuff, but they're only open like five or six months out of the year here. 
I'm assuming it has something to do with summer being stupidly hot, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll shut down that mess. Let's see. Let's see what, uh, what, what jobs we have at the harbor. I'll also see where our, what our cash is doing now. 66 grand, so we only need 100 for, uh, for the passenger license, so we're getting kind of close. So what do we have? What do we have here? All sorts of, all sorts of goodies. I don't want to do shunting of rails. That sounds boring. Go back to the steel mill with some explodies. Go back to the steel mill with a lot of explodies. Maybe. Looking more appealing. You sound very smart if you want the passenger license. Well, I mean, running the explodies is fine. It's usually the uh, RCL switching and or stupidity <clears throat> that uh, tends to do problems. I don't want to haul <clears throat> into cars. I don't know. There's a fair amount of explodies that need to go to the machine factory. That could be interesting. Put that train together. Shunting, 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 goods factory. And those are passenger jobs up there. So maybe we do these three. Yeah. Do the jobs just populate over time or what? Uh, they populate every time you get within range of the industry. They auto populate what jobs are there. So there's always this many? Um, it depends. I mean, it de uh, the, the harbor is the biggest, so it always has the most. But okay. Oh, that's hazmat three, and I don't think I have hazmat three actually. Or is it military three that I don't have? No, I don't have hazmat three. So we couldn't do the acetylene. I didn't realize acetylene was more explodey. We could only do the the gasoline and then the yeah the two different gas jobs. That's still a good fair bit of uh, of coin. I think we'll we'll take a, a smidge break. Then we'll troll Justin and uh, and go for that. I've got to go run and use the restroom. Be entertaining, you two. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh leak stuff. I don't something, know. Something, something, block of cheese, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the not moving or cheese, doing anything. The block of cheese is steadily getting smaller. And it's Colby Very Jack? Why, why just Colby Jack? Are you interested in spicy cheeses or just... Just normal bland cheeses. Colby Jack isn't bland. It's one of my favorite cheeses. Uh huh. Well, that's fine. It's just not, you know, like interesting, like Pepper Jack is. Pepper Jack is gross, though. Ah, oh, I knew you'd say that. As soon as I knew that Colby Jack was your favorite, I knew that you wouldn't like the good you know, cheese. Colby Jack is one of my favorites. Okay, what it's... is your favorite? Choose your favorite child. Do it. It depends on what I'm doing it with. Because, like, if I'm if I'm doing just a block of cheese and crackers, then I'll usually either do Colby Jack or some flavor of cheddar. I like white cheddar, but I also am particular to sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar okay. is the better version of cheddar. You're right. Okay, so that's that's Cheddar, cheddar is acceptable. In the, in the right column. Cheddar is acceptable, but sharp cheddar is better. Sharp white as well. Yes, uh, I have a block of sharp white in the fridge. It's good. <laughs> they make... They make uh, sharp white cheddar Cheez-Its. And if you get the crunchy ones, it, I think they're like, what's it called? Like grooves or something? Those ones are very tasty. Oh, I will have to look into that. Um, Chad is also concerned about your gravelly deep voice. Gravelly um, voice? Yeah. I was in Tucson, so I live in the Phoenix general area. Don't worry. That's where most of Arizona lives. You won't find me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a challenge. So, so I went to Tucson for uh, some work stuff, and I was out in a field for six hours. And we're talking six hours being like 9 p.m. to like 4 a.m. I think that's seven hours. Anyways, I was out in a field yelling at people for that long overnight and the scrappily voice okay we got the fh12 and 31 <clears throat> while, while you were gone uh high sweet lot we uh leaked mickley's favorite cheese flavor uh oh i didn't i didn't I get that leak what B big important well you have to ask chat chat what's his favorite <laughs> cheese 
to ask me. You have to ask Chad. All right. Nickley might lie to you. You'd ask Chad. I was going to ask Chad. Yeah, what's his favorite kind of cheese? Slams a block of cheese down. This <laughs> is cheese. <laughs> cheese. Look at all of my explodey boys, and none of these are the jobs I need to haul. Are are we praised? Are they all in the uh, in the e yards today? Oh yeah, they might have to poop. Are they right next to each other? The FH twelve and the thirty one. Well, that's too easy, and that again, they're the same track outbound. I, I swear I didn't pay the uh, dear old Dal Valley devs to do this for me. Chat okay. has given zero right answers. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's one right answer. One one person. All the Lindberger. <laughs> no. <laughs> edible yeah. cheese. Yes, edible cheese. <laughs> it is his favorite. <laughs> All right, so uh, sorry about this. We're gonna have to make a clean clip. Um, we, we're going to uh, we're gonna ruin Justin's day here. I think either that or or make it. I'm not sure. Let me scroll through. Where is it? Give it. Remind to me. me who Justin is. Oh, do I not? God bless it. Do I not have it installed? I thought I had this installed, but I was supposed to have memes. Who is Justin? Uh, CS Railway Society. No, oh, that's okay. not what I want. This is not what I want. I'm so good at remembering because you told me that like I ten told minutes ago. Literally ten minutes ago. <laughs> but this this is not fair. I was supposed to meme it. Just they have a, a Union Pacific GP40 that someone modded into the game, but apparently I don't have it in my spawner list. Well, that is just a bummer. We're just going to keep running DE6s? Well, that's stupid. I don't want to keep running DE6s. Maybe you have to buy it first. Or, like, find one. I don't know how D-Rail Valley works. Oh, that's a good question. It's we we don't trust somewhere. the 464 anymore! So we'll grab the UP steam engine, I guess. Is, is the reason you don't trust 464 because it yeeted itself off into the... <laughs> that, Off the hill. that was the one that kept uh, doing all the things to me, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll uh, put some coal in the hole. Damper damper theoretically open. And now we yeet our Zippo in there. This is how you light him off, right? And that's what a throat sheet looks like. Alright. Oh, it already has steam pressure. That's right, Zybox is sweetheart. What whistle does it have? Well, I don't like that at all. Hang on. Give me a, Give me a minute. Give me un minuto to fix this real quick. I um, I was a, a idiot when I was working on adding my own whistles to the game previously. And I just replaced the whistle files that were in there with the same name whistle files. Uh, and so when the mod updated, it overwrote the whistle files because I didn't properly add them to the dealio. So... That was just uh, a sad thing. So don't mind if I just go jump into the Zybox sounds here. And uh, we're just going to pretend that the Southern 3 chime just does not exist. And then uh, I'm going to grab on my desktop. I've got... It's not the it's not the High 6. It's not the Huber 6. But it's what the Huber 6 was based off of. So it should, uh, should do quite nicely, I think. This would be a good question for the Jeopardy of High Slore. Yeah, what Jeff whistle is the Huber what, Six what based on? What whistle off of? is it based on? Well, it's actually <laughs> two whistles, but anyway. So we go what is in. the Cumbres and Toltec? What is the Cumbres and Toltec? <laughs> good answer. Actually, also partially true because we measured the, the whistle <laughs> off of the 489. The best kind of truth. It's a good answer. Indeed. All right. Before chat tells me wrong game show. Okay, I swear it was Z sounds something. Maybe it was saved in the uh, no. Why is this parameter not found for Zybox sounds? What, what are you doing? Uh. You are not following the rules. You do not follow the rules. Yeah, I know. Look at me. Just really, 
really making the most riveting stream as I troubleshoot something real quick. We could start talking about cheese again. I mean that that, that to, does seem to, to keep, cover for time. Does seem to keep <laughs> the folks interested. I have almost finished this block of cheese. Oh, oh lordy! So it was not very big to begin with. So. sound. It's not dot apply. It's dot apply sound. Just Ding two dong. pounds then. Um, let's see. It started out as a one pound block. And when I started eating it tonight, I had about a quarter left of it, so... Are you just eating cheese. straight cheese? Well, I have crackers, too. I got a, I got a sleeve of Ritz. My stomach just gurgled just hearing this. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Your stomach is keep broken. being jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I had fruit snacks, but I ate them all. All right. Here we go. That's not right. Oh, I have to restart DRL Valley for the thing to take. It just remembers the file. God, I hate that whistle. Lord, we're going to be stuck with the Polar Express whistle, and people are going to think it's great, and I'm going to be sad. Okay. Do you know that's the Polar Express whistle? Did I, I, Dude, I had no idea. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad you I gotta, told you. You got to keep it, though, for the clickbait. Bro, Steam Engineer uses Polar Express whistle. Did you guys know? <laughs> Some, somebody's like, ew, what the, what the heck? Straight cheese is great. What's wrong with you? Um, lactose intolerance. Straight cheese is tasty. Oh, that's right. It just kills my butthole later, and we don't need to talk about that on this stream. So <laughs> kick the we air could off, talk about, we? We could talk about Taco Bell. How about that? Taco Bell does less bad things to me than just straight cheese. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nah, I, if, if we want more um, more inner lore of the MOW crew, I actually have boycotted Taco Bell for several years now. Have you really? Yeah. I, I don't shop there, and I actively encourage people I know to not buy their stuff does anyone say <clears throat> shop at a fast food i, I was restaurant? just gonna you know ask what that. i'm sorry okay is it just a you make i wondered if all arizonans were weird for there for a second i'm I, willing to I throw your had, state under the bus but it's just a you i thing. just had a weird brain fart okay 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 all right all right i'm shopping does this crunch wrap supreme make me look fat <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just I've I've had some friends have issues with their employment policies, and since Arizona's work to state, uh, what right to work state is what I was trying to say. Uh, you can technically get fired for anything. You are yeah, they don't, having they don't have to have a valid brain, reason. Brain isms. Yeah. He's he's trying, folks. Uh, we'll we'll get him back online here in a minute. Just a hard reset there, Nickley. Frankly, that exe has stopped working. <laughs> it's clear, clearly. <laughs> I know this engine has a stoker, yes. I just don't tend to use it because I like flailing around with the shovel. I like to throw back to when I played this game in VR and I smacked the hell out of my bed while flinging coal in. <laughs> but I was playing in a very small bedroom, which was, yeah, boundary conditions are important. I have to play outside high, my goodness. That's what I do in Colorado. <laughs> Fell into the turntable pit. <laughs> play in VR. <laughs> oh, I I actually said that to to a friend of mine. Um he was talking about having issues with uh like getting his kids to play outside, etc. And I'm like, what if you had them play VR outside? <laughs> they would be playing outside. <laughs> uh, I guess that just seems like a more dangerous version of both of those scenarios. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't want to let you talk to my kids because you'll give them too many bad ideas. <laughs> This is fair.
are we ignoring chat? Uh, no, I was attempting to blow for a grade crossing and the whistle was doing whistle things. So we got a wow, 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 wow. I mean, it's just there's a just bunch like of spam, that. so I'm debating if I should leave it or just delete it. Because it is kind of funny. Crown sheet to engineer, I'm going critical. Do people understand how a sight glass works? Did I not? I, actually, I don't think I talked about sight glasses that much in Steam 101. Apparently, we should talk about sight glasses at some point. I wonder if the sight glass is pretty self-explanatory. People seem to think that it is a measure of the entire boiler when it is not. Switch, switch, switch. There we go. It's fine. Not that one. No, that one, or that one. They're like, so if it's sight, sight glass is empty, you're out of water. And it's like, dude, almost all of the volume is before the sight glass exists. Isn't the sight glass being empty, like, indicating that the crown sheet is exposed? Nope. There's usually about four to six inches between the bottom of the sight glass and the crown sheet for that express purpose. So it's more of a, hey, you better put water in me or else. It depends. If you are running downhill, sometimes at the bottom of the glass is all you can really have. Huh. Like the case at the museum, you, if you're going downhill on the <clears> one side, you'll be at the bottom of the glass or actually a little bit underneath the bottom of the glass. Uh, but as soon as you start going uphill, you're all the way out the top. So, I mean, you just... That's the change in grade. If you had a fixed grade of a certain, uh, you know, distance, if you're running downhill for a, a long time, yeah, you could get away with a way different way to carry your water. But if you're going to transition like that, you have to have the capacity for your water to change without um, sucking water through the cylinders when you roll back over or without exposing the crown sheet on the way down. So you have to carry your water very precisely. So sometimes bottom of the sight glass is okay. Water sloshes in the boiler. It's all it's a whole thing. I need to I think that was a cam that I didn't get when I was out in Colorado last time is I didn't really film the sight glass as much. I really ought to get sight glass cam. You Shut had the yes. the one little short with the heartbeat though. I did, and that was filmed by Brett, not by me. <laughs> that was before I moved uh, that was before I was out there actually. Or ah. before my trip out there. Last trip I suppose. So with the, specifically at the road museum, the fireman just has to know what the water's at? Oh, all the time. Oh, you have to know what the water water's at all the time. I mean, that's your job as a fireman. That is number one thing. What do you need to know? And what do you need to manage? Number one, water. And, and I'll be doing a firing 101 video at some point with my footage from the museum. But yeah, water is absolutely the most critical thing as the fireman, which is kind of funny, isn't it? But... I, I meant more like the sight glass isn't accurate for reading it. Mm. You just need to know what it is in the context. It's not that it's not accurate, although it does slosh a bit. I mean, you gotta know, did your engineer just take a big set of the air? Well, guess what? All the waters just run the one way because you've got this change in force. Did he just grab the throttle way hard like Jeremy Clarkson? Well, guess what? Everything sloshed to the back. Did you just stop? More power! If you just stop, the water's going to go all over the gosh darn place. So, I mean, it's it's very much a, okay, well, I need to know the kinematics of this system and know that I'm at a place where that reading the sight glass is a thing that is smart to do right now. So. So it's a, it's a matter of knowing when to read the sight glass and how the water is sitting at the time of reading. Yeah, you gotta know. That's that, that's the whole thing about knowing the railroad is you got to know the railroad and the territory to know that, okay... I'm on this grade, I'm doing this, this level of water is acceptable. Like, that's the that's the whole thing here. So right now, I mean, flat railroad and derail valley, I'm sitting a little bit above half glass. That'd actually be about perfect. But of course, we're going to start running up grade, and it's going to stay at half glass. But that's because it's, it's not simulated, because who the hell simulates that? Nobody. Not, not actually, nope. not anyone that Nobody I'm aware of. Yet. Nobody yet. Yeah, I don't know if um, I'm not sure. Maybe Smokebox does with his stuff, but I haven't seen a big grade change really. So it's not terribly noticeable in small gradient changes. But <laughs> I mean, now that you've said something, some modder is going to add in a mod 
in like two days. Zybok, so. if you're listening, figure out how to make <laughs> the uh, the sight glass slosh based on grade. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> Have I watched the anime Galaxy Railways? God, like, 15 years ago. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a decent anime that was kind of train-flavored, which was kind of funny. How hard is it to run a locomotive? <laughs> it's, not, it's not... I mean, it's not hard. There's just a lot of stuff to learn and a lot of feel to learn. It's very much something that's easy to understand, but it's hard to be good at. And we dumped him, ladies and gents. Yes, Greg! If you give me sloshy sight glass for class 86, I will be a happy man. I've, I did recover the caboose, Dallin. Um, we just haven't put it in this consist yet. Oh, am I now shoving the... Uh, did we make the hook? We did make the hook. Alright, do that. Cut the air in. And now, run it and forward. Easy to learn, difficult to master. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. All right, you're getting timed out. That's the third time. Guys, completely unrelated. Source control in Unreal Engine is so easy. I just pressed two buttons, and it just pushed to GitHub from inside Unreal Engine. Isn't Ooh, that crazy? That is that is a pretty neat thing. Oh, uh, you're, we're gonna have to talk about that a little bit because I don't think I've uh, that uh, I don't think I've that understanding. Yeah, well, I learned that today. Uh, I got angry for some reason and decided to do more research. And yeah, yeah, press oh. two buttons. Done. Okay. I, th I thought it was really hard, so I'm glad that we got that sorted. Nope. Luckily, it's not. Okay, good. I, I had a discussion of sil similar elements with uh, my sister, who used to do game dev, and she talked about how, like, the, the, the first most important thing that you have to do, like, the first thing that you do day one, anything is, like, repositories and stuff, and make sure that they work and all that. Like, that's number one. So... Well, I yeah. mean, if you're working in a team, the team has to have a way to get to the stuff that you're working on. Oh, yeah, so. Ex exactly. And yeah. Even if you're working alone, a repository is a great idea. I mean, I've had a personal repository since uh, 2015 or something. You Just for projects that I do that, hey, if my computer dies tonight, my my code's still there. That it is, just uh, exists. That's a neat thing. We yeah. like that. Source I control is that. Good. I did some of that for my school projects, but it running stuff in a VM because I have Windows and they wanted us to use a Linux environment is just annoying. Oh, yeah. So trying to get GitHub to work within a VM that didn't play nice with my internet access was just a pain, so I just backed up to files elsewhere. Jay Christensen, we're not planning to add uh, VR support to Rarids Online. Good question, though. It would be neat to see a game like Rarids Online with, uh, Unre uh, or, sorry, <clears throat> VR support, wouldn't it? It would be pretty neat. Yeah. I mean, I think that would be really cool. Something else is that goes along with VR support is your ability to teleport around, which I notice you use a ton. Is that something you'd see in R or want to see in um, or you like walking? I, if, if RO was supposed to have VR, it, it, a lot of people get motion sickness with, with walking with VR headsets on. So that's usually why the teleporting's a thing. So if we were to do it, yeah, we would need to have uh, some amount of teleporting enabled for that. And it's just like a speedrun strat for you right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a thousand percent a speedrun strat right now. All right. All right. Cool. They gave me the, the techniques to do this, so. All you right. ever looked into any any VR stuff for Unreal, Tristan? Personally, I haven't had the need to yet. Uh, I, I know it comes out of the box with their character. You can just set up a VR project with, without making anything else. It's just a default project type. So have a headset and hit play. <laughs> huh. 
I do not yeah. have a VR headset, so I cannot do that. I need, to, I, need, I need to find mine, but um, I'm going to be cleaning out my garage as part of moving to Colorado, D. Um, so, yeah. Again, anything you don't want. Yeah, I'm right here on the way, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, true. If, if there are... Trains, VR headsets, booze, whatever you got to drop off. I oh, mean... tr well, true. There, there may, be a, <laughs> may be a thing on that list. All right, well, we're power shoving the explodey boys towards the caboose, towards a loaded train of rails, which, I mean, that'll probably be fine. We're just going to gauge the stopping distance, and these cars stop really fast, so I'm just going to wait till I want to poop myself and then go, ah! Someone, someone just don't do it too soon or you won't couple in. Although, no, this, this, I mean, that was a little violent, but the caboose is fine. The tank car is fine. I think that's a uh, <laughs> job success right there. We'll cut, cut that air off. Um, the safety's popping. We've got coal in the hole. And I'm putting dunk. The, I'm putting the bar forward, and here we go. So much stream delay. I wish it wasn't so bad. If we do the, if we change to uh, Train Town, I'll I'll stop and restart to fix that because that's annoying. Yes. More please. more power. Like, I just barely saw you disconnect the air hoses. <laughs> it's right. that far back. Go, Choo Choo, go. And then... We have to go back. We come over here. Job overview. Oh, don't tell me there's fees. What fees? What do I... Oh, that's the diesel that I sh probably should have serviced. That's fine. We don't care about that. 16 grand. Okay, it would have been 8,000. I don't want to deal with that. Stupid. That's a smart mechanic, but god, I get to the end of a job and I never want to drive anything to the service pit. Are you kidding me? I'm just like a good railroad transportation department. The whistle agrees. Alright, we're wide open. We got the scroll reverse pulled back. We got a crossing been to that amusement park before chat once ages ago am i coming down to chama for opening day whenever it is uh opening day is in june sometime and probably not because i'm gonna be finishing packing up my stuff um basically for m the move to colorado uh but you bet your butt i'm gonna be in chama uh, probably a lot more frequently than I ever have been before based on this, so I'm, yeah, I'm excited, so. What amusement park were they, uh, they talking about in chat? Lagoon. It's a smaller park in, uh, Utah, I think. I haven't been there in ages. Wondering if it was a, one of the big ones. Me I'm and the pretty boys. Sure pretty sure it's just south of Salt Lake. I don't remember. Cool. Probably driven past it a couple of times. All right, so we're going to the machine factory. So we're we're talk about how way. Utah traffic sucks. Dude, I hate driving through Utah. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with Utahns, but I hate driving behind them. <sighs> I don't know what their problem is with road travel, but like anything that takes you through Salt Lake is just nasty. They they seem to hate fun and driving fast. Well, they don't like blinkers and they don't like lane lines. Can confirm. Oh yeah, she's working nice and pretty. Yes, Dallin, I'm I'm gonna be back at the museum. The, the opportunity came, and I'm taking it. I've got to sign some papers still, but I am actually going to go back to the, the museum full-time. That's <laughs> the, a good question. Jimmy, the, the GTO's getting trailered. <laughs> oh, no road trip? What? I, I don't trust the GTO that far. Maybe we'll try. Uh, I don't know, but... Last time we threatened it with a road trip, the clutch linkage decided to break, which was not even a, a known possible problem at the time, so. Awesome. <laughs> of 
course, yeah, keeping the GTO. GTO's coming with me. Jeff would kill me if I showed up and I didn't have the GTO. <laughs> Jeff being the, the boss at the shop at the museum, and he's a, he's a big uh, Chevy guy, so. Well, GM guy, really, not just Chevy. Let's hook it up a little further here. Question is, do you trust him enough to let him drive it? Oh, God, yeah. Jeff can drive the GTO. Oh. Okay. Can I drive it, though? Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> oh, I'll answer that for you, Mickley. Uh, yeah. no. Can you even drive stick? I, I mean, I know the theory. I haven't actually driven stick. You're not learning uh, stick in in a car that has enough horsepower no, to grenade I've the clutch. Driven, I've driven stick before. It's just been ages. I only drove it like once, though, so I don't even know if that counts. CMDR sweeper. I've only ever owned manual transmission <clears throat> cars. I've never owned an automatic transmission car. My Golf was a stick. My uh, my Civic was a stick, and now the GTO is a stick. I what was gonna cost? buy. Sorry. Uh, I l I left the museum originally because I was basically an intern while I was in college. And I left because, I mean, it was an internship more so than a real job. There wasn't a, a spot at the shop itself. And I was told at the time that I needed to go do, like, a real job and go get real money for a real job. And that was the most important thing, not my own happiness and what I wanted to do in life. And I believed it at the time. And so I went on an adventure to go and uh, go chase dollars instead of happiness. So... Thankfully, dollars I made a are very nice. Do dollars, dollars, dollars are important. You do have to have some amount of dollars, but I think uh, I, I went a little too far down that route, and I I strayed too far away from what I really wanted to do. So now you have YouTube to pay your bills. <laughs> well, yeah, d YouTube will help, <laughs> and of course, so and my train was also a stick. Yes, Pee Wee is in fact a stick. I need to uh, I need to edit that video. We've got uh, some good Pee Wee cam, and you can see how awful the clutch is. Didn't you say at one point it didn't have uh, a couple gears or something? No, Pee Wee Pee Wee's also always been fine, so far as I know. My mm. Golf was a it was a 2004, so I think it was a Gen 5, if I'm remembering my Golfs right, and it was just a base model. It was my first car, and it what a turd. It was a great car. I loved it, but mechanically, it was just the worst. My favorite car, uh, call me a stereotypical person who likes muscle cars, but my favorite car is probably a 68, 69 Dodge Charger, followed by a 68, 69 GTO, and I am a proud owner of a 68 GTO, so. If Clown were here, he would agree. Cool, oh, good. <laughs> Clown and I, uh, <laughs> Clown and I are spiritually the same age, so... We're both spiritually old man. <laughs> Alright, spicy sounds. We'll just close the throttle. Get back into it. At one point I was going to get a, uh, a truck that was stick. Um, it was like a 97 something. I don't remember. One of the little bitty trucks. Oh, like a little Toyota or something? No, it was it was a Chevy, but I forget. Or maybe it was a Ranger. Oh. Yeah, it was a Ranger. I was doing oh, a Ranger. Cool. Those are small. Yeah. Peyton twenty four. I mean, it, it was, welcome to the yeah, ES and D so. Brakeman. Sorry, I have no buffer car. Uh, tenders count as buffer cars, right? It's between the locomotive yes. and the uh, and the hazmat. It counts. It doesn't take damage. It counts. I mean, the tender technically also carries hazmat, depending on what state you live in, so. I'm trying to increase nice. the water while not killing my pressure. Fighting it a little bit. 70 Barracuda, dude. Yeah. Barracuda's dope. The nice thing about the Ranger was going to be that um, it was old enough and beat up enough that I, um, <coughs> sorry, um, my dad was going to purchase it as a kind of joint venture um, so that my other siblings could be learning stick too. Well, there you go. That would have made sense. I mean, it's, it's great to learn stick. <laughs> It'll get you out of 
hairy situations in Croatia. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I mean, also, you can just get a stick and it's an automatic safety against getting your car stolen. This is true. Yeah, I think, uh, so, context, uh, my family originates, some of my family originates from Croatia. My grandma is actually from Croatia, so shout out any Croatians or uh, Slavs in chat. Uh, my grandma is from Otak Uglian, just outside of Zadar. But uh, anyway, my mom grew up loving the Croatian culture and languages and ended up getting a degree in Slavic languages. And so she looks like a, you know, standard American lady, but she's like fluent in nine languages, most of them being the Slavic uh, romantic languages. And so we're in Dubrovnik trying to rent a car and we walk in and we're, we're talking to the rental people and they've got great English and stuff. And then they start muttering to each other in Croatian and they're freaking out because they go, Americano, Americano, no automatica. They had, they'd run out of automatic transmission cars and we were dumb Americans, so there's no way that we could drive stick, right? And uh, so my mom let them stew for about 10 minutes and they were just stalling and stalling and stalling, didn't know what to do. And she finally says in drop dead perfect Croatian, it's okay, he drives stick, we can take whatever you have. <laughs> and the looks nice. on their faces were, were just re relief con like combined with confusedness. It was just hilarious. Confused Croatian sounds. Yeah, Love basically. <laughs> We're coming up on that 90, or coming up on that 80, and we're doing speed. Oh, we've killed the pressure on the gauge. That's fine. I guess we could shut that off and uh, go into application here. That's right. We've got uh, non-self-lapping air brakes this time, so we'll just take a nice meaty set there. Got some more coal in the hole. Kick off the injector. Okay. That's a good rate of reduction. Release the air. Nikola Tesla was Croatian, if you're remembering. So I can't remember. Um, I've seen reports either way that he was Serbian or Croatian, depending on who you talk to and depending on what autobiography or biographies you read. Um, and I guess at the time it was all Yugoslavia. So, I mean, what's the difference? But, yeah, Tesla was, was one of us, us people. We, we topped out at about 95 kilometer an hour. We're doing about 70 right now. You were scooting pretty good. It was uh, scary fast for a minute there. And this is about <laughs> where I punted my caboose off, so we'll accidentally dump the air, and now we'll pull through it. It's fine. Accidentally, uh-huh. No, I accidentally, though. I truly was trying to just go into application, and I dumped it. I strongly feel that the uh, the air brake mod with the, the non-self-lapping stuff is probably significantly easier to deal with in VR. But get some more cold. I mean, you can just it's just a lot more sensitive in VR, isn't it? Like in terms of you can make really small adjustments. Well, no, you so you just know where um, you just know where the position is. With non-self-lapping air, oh, you don't okay. you don't need to make a small adjustment. The the positions are are definite. There is a release position, a lap position, and an application position, and then an emergency application position. You have to go to application to reduce the brake pipe and hold it there while you're reducing, and then lap it. And so I'm trying to just click the button enough times to get it into that. Um, application position but it's a physics object that i'm bumping it's not a hard control because it's designed for vr uh and okay. so i end up bumping past it despite it being a defined hard location and i'm pretty sure zybox tried to make it as easy as he could but it, it's still kind of just a pain in the butt particularly if you wait for the animation to do stuff I'll take a little set there Grab the radio because we're gonna have to throw that switch. The 70 Challenger would be pretty too. You like the Super Sports? A Challenger Super Sport? No, the uh, Camaro. Chevelle. Oh, the Chevelle. Chevelle. Oh, Chevelles Super are cool. Sports. Sorry, I, again, brain farts on car games. You're good. Chevelles are cool. Um, they're built off the same body as the GTO. I, I like the GTO front and, and rears better than the Chevelles personally, but 
they're, they're both cool. My uh, The drummer in Hellbot's got a 70 Chevelle. It's pretty cool. But it doesn't run. Teehee. He spent more That's on it than I spent on mine, Oof. so... Oof. <laughs> he, he spent more on his than mine by a factor of, like, five, and mine runs and his doesn't, but that's okay. Do his numbers match, then? Uh, no, his doesn't. He has a, a huge engine put in his that's aftermarket. He's oh, got okay. a he's got a 540 Chevy in his, so... And I was going to say, if, it, if it's going to cost, like, five times as much, then it's either I, heavily modded or he's got matching I numbers. I got mine for cheap as hell. Mine is numbers matching. I got I got stupid Fancy? lucky. It's not all original, not by by far, but the powertrain is numbers matching. But it it got restored at some point, and somebody changed a bunch of crap on it. It's originally supposed to be a green car, Verduro green for you GM folks out there, or your Pontiac folks out there even. Uh, Verduro green with a gold parchment, or sorry, a gold vinyl top and a parchment interior. Reeks of the 70s are approaching. That's a good question from Wings. What's going to happen with Hellbot with you moving? That's uh, that's a good question. Going to have to talk to the boys on Tuesday and, and see what the, the deal is. We might continue to play here and there. Uh, might do gigs, you know, quarterly or something and fly back out for them. Uh, or that might be all she wrote. But, you know, that's that, that has been a hard thing for me because I do love playing with those guys. They're great musicians, but uh, it's never really been 100% my cup of tea and some of the drama has not been worth it. So, yep. It used to be a really good source of happiness and drive for me, but I don't think... I think I pushed myself too hard with the band, and I don't think the rest of the band was right there ready with me to do that. And so I think I was a, a one spinning wheel in a, in a differential that uh, was letting the other wheels just maintain contact, and I burned myself out a, a little bit on it. Man, fancy car terms. I know. He, he is an engineer, he, even though he wants to be the other kind. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he wants to be all of the kinds. <laughs> He's re-upping his real engineer. Oh, no, he doesn't want to be an electrical engineer. That, that job sucks. I'm already kind of an electrical engineer. That's pretty much my, my gig really is. What? That's like the worst kind of engineer, though. Indeed. But that, like, that is of, what it is. Of the classes for my, for my degree, the electrical engineering ones were awful. Like, just the dealing with small electronics and designing circuits. Like, designing circuits is fine. Making sure that the like trying to solve them in phase nastiness is stupid. No, well, I don't have to do crap like that, but... Yeah, you know, like, why, why should I have to do this by hand if the computer can do it for me? Yeah, it's the fun oh, about that's... college classes this that you learn the behind, their how behind a lot of the things, and you'll never actually have to do it that way, so... Yep. I haven't killed the pressure yet, and we are scooting. <laughs> We're here with the boys. Visiting, visiting cousins. And uh, there's a speed restriction coming up. So we're going to keep pulling, but I'm going to start setting them up. Got about a 15 pounder on. There's just so much explosives. Why is it not being blown up? And now we'll kick that set off and just let it ride. Why do we not blow up the explodey boys? Because we just paid off our insurance. <laughs> Why do we even have these explodey boys? Right, what is, what's even the point of explodey boys? <laughs> they don't explode. Exactly. Got a nice you know what, going. Nathaniel? I am sorry for you, Nathaniel, that you have to be an electrical engineer. Like, just... <laughs> uh stupid movie thing that I forgot. How have I forgotten this movie with the stupid whistle salute thing? Hunger Games. Hunger Games whistle salute. I don't know. Oh, Christ. We're going 70 into a 30 right now because we're paying attention. We've just got all of the independent set and a fairly meaty set on the train. It's for this right-hander up here. If I can get back in the cab. The whistle says, yeah, get it back in the cab. We're stopping because... Set up all the air. 
There we go. Now we'll pull through it. Come on. Come on, you can you can do it. Dan, I have a ginormous bottle of water here. I will be fine. It looks like we're lined into... Looks like we're lined in the machine factory, by the way. The switches are set. And we got some more fast territory coming up. Got a 50 coming through here. So we'll just keep the power on. Chat would like RO to have different maps that have different industries. So like, the one has the current industries and the second has the same, but like heavy machinery, milk, and grapes. I don't know how those uh, last three go together, but like, okay. Sour wine, my man. You <laughs> let the milk ferment. It, it within the grapes. <laughs> Wait, the in, grapes in the milk? One of those two. We, something like then that. Then we use that, we use that as fuel for the heavy machinery. A biofuels expansion. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a nice set so I don't poop myself around this turn. So it's a, oh Jesus, it's a thirty. It's fine. We dumped it. Dump it. It's fine. Dump it. it got dumped. And now we're going straight to the corner, wide open, with sand. Pull through it. They're K's. They'll figure it out. They'll know what to do. Said 50. Didn't realize there was a 30 right there, right afterwards. So, a pretty steep curve. Curve. That's the steep, right term. Steep curve indeed. Yes. Ar I don't around know the z-axis. Brain, brain is not working. Nicholas' brain does not work today. <laughs> sharp a curve. That's a the sharp word. A curve. Yeah, like sharp like your cheese. This, this particular block of cheese was not sharp. Unfortunately. Wow, what a waste. It was still tasty. My goodness. Mm hmm. The heavy machine is what you operate while consuming <laughs> the sour milk wine. See, I mean, that, that seems like a reasonable assumption here. Ah. <sighs> You ever, you ever seen what milk does when you mix in alcohol, though? Uh, no. Lactose intolerance, remember? Well, sure, but you've never tried mixing stuff like that? I like to drink my alcohol, not mess around with it. <laughs> so, um... There's, there's a YouTuber, um, do you care if I promote their content? Sure, if it's interesting. It's not interesting, so it's, we'll ban you. <laughs> Jay's Two Cents, they do a bunch of PC hardware stuff, etc. They're a PC hardware channel. Uh, they did they did an episode running different stuff through water-cooled computers. So, like, what can you put in your loop? And they, they did chocolate milk, uh, apple juice, because everyone wanted them to put piss through it, and decided apple juice was the next best thing for sanitation's sake and also vodka and like <laughs> they're really funny about it because they're tasting the vodka and it was like super cheap nasty stuff apparently but they put the, the chocolate milk through and then to help clear it out they're like oh the vodka will help clean this, the milk out right no it, it just made it clump up everywhere and be nasty that sounds like the stuff milk would do yeah, so they had to disassemble the whole loop anyway.
but yeah, I, I really enjoy their content. Uh, it's very fun, very much fun, uh, laid back, chill stuff. with the block of cheese with a knife sharpener. Doesn't work that way. Blackstorm 118, we still don't know if um, if we're going to be able to convert the old tracks. It's still yet to be seen. Although we we're kind of betting that the third party folks will figure that out, but we'll see. That doesn't mean that we're not going to develop something ourselves, but even if we can't, I'm imagining one of those folks can figure it out. So... I think Tom was saying something about he can already display the new splines in extended, in a test build or something. That's good. Cat wants you to shovel more coal. Let's, let's shovel. We're, we're doing okay. We got, we got yeah, stream speed, delay, I don't know. <laughs> Killing the pressure gauge in spite of itself. Trying to go fast. Do you know the fastest you've gotten in Derail Valley? Um, like fastest speed? I've gotten pretty close to the top of the gauge in the steam engine, so probably 110. And you didn't derail. Oh, well, there's a couple spots you can do it. Oh, we are lined in for the B40. How cool is that? And we've got speed restrictions. And I accidentally dumped it. It's fine. We'll pull through it. Hey, Glock. How's it going? Welcome. We're, we are streaming Derail Valley at the moment. Just so you're aware. I have not tried that. No, a, a, I do need to try that. Actually, Dapper wanted to do a video of me about it. Shoot, probably two months ago now. I need to hit him up and see if he's still interested, maybe. But. Dang, do you end up doing a stream or something? No, I'd love to play Zero Valley. That'd be neat. It's not fun playing a single player. We can derail the train together. I don't know. I it's know, it's right? decently... I, <laughs> I enjoy it with all the mods. I do enjoy playing Dira Valley again. I agree. Just base game, it's not fun anymore, I don't think. But with all the mods, I mean, it's really breathed new life into the game. I just think if the multiplayer, the whole I would be all of it. Good to know. We'll have to, we'll have to try that one of these times. And we're lined into the B40. And uh, hopefully there's not trains all over it. Why would you do this? I take it. I take it. There's trains all over the track you're trying to get into. There are, and somebody. So okay. So I believe chat. Somebody was like, "Yeah, you're lying for the B4O," and I was just like, "Yeah, okay, that's good." I didn't even realize that. No, that's not the track that I need to go to. Is there? Why I need is to go to the definite maintenance on the main line. Need to go to the C3 inbound. What? <laughs> Ding dong! Paying attention over here. Where the hell is C3? C3 is the next yard over. Okay, back him up. Back him up. Every time high speed rail, I will play the Glock rail. That says that Glock's volume is super low. Glock's volume is super low. Um, I, I think I know what it is. There's a big old gash in my, uh, my microphone for some reason. So I need to go out and get a new one. Uh, yeah, so it's probably going to take a new one. Probably going to take Like in your pop filter or in your actual microphone? My, my actual microphone. That doesn't that sound good. good. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that might be part of the issue. How much longer do we think you're going to be streaming, guys? I don't know. Uh, probably get this load in and then see about passenger license, maybe, and then maybe hop into the uh, train town, maybe, if people think that would be fun. Do it. But start. So I would like, probably start that as a separate. Uh, separate one hour, stream. two hours, three hours. Uh, maybe an hour. 
hour and a half? Two hours? Two hours. All right. No guarantees, but... Oh, um, hi, can you get done soon? Sure. Well, we, we could probably uh, talk in the intermission once we uh, change to train town because it would take me a minute to do it anyway. Yeah, Lionel Train Town. Are you too much of a zoomer to know oh, that? Oh, my. I remember that one. Yeah. I okay, used to play it a lot of my live scene book. Wait, do you have it on disc or did you find it like. Down? I found a bootleg on the internet somewhere. Yay, bootleg. I owned it on disc that counts. <laughs> in the past. Same, same. I, I have it on disk somewhere. It just I don't have a disk drive anymore. So yeah, well, I wouldn't even have disk drive. <laughs> they got Nevada County Five up in the running today. Fancy. Are Mason bogeys considered oh, tank you, engines? I don't oh, know. Oh, this is a, okay. So apparently, no one told me this. Over at my museum, a bunch of guys trucked out, they trucked out a bunch of World War Two equipment, like ha German, like American half tracks and stuff, out to my museum, and nobody told me. Oh, rip. That's a Bad bummer. Now. Rip. Did you blow for that grade crossing? I did not. Nor this one. That's oh dangerous. Goodness. I don't know if they very, have. A, I don't know if they have uh, guidelines or requirements or surrounding grade crossings in Derail Valley. Not sure how you program that. Holy crap! <laughs> Twenty nine minutes. Yeah. <laughs> the bonus time's forty nine minutes. All right, we're printing cash today, boys. Look the at question that. is, Fat do, we, do we think that there should be a requirement to blow for train or grade crossings? I don't think it, it in the era of railroads online, it wasn't a, a true requirement, I don't think yet. They just ran people over? Oh, God, oh, yeah. And it actually used, it used to actually be the uh, the railroads problem. They used to sue the railroads until the, um, the ICC stepped in in the early teens. 19 yeah. teens and and said no it's the motorists being idiots that's causing this so yeah tra train has a clearly defined path motorist could stop but doesn't <laughs> okay well we're, get, we're gonna pay for our servicing the stupid way again because i don't feel like servicing the engine if only we could do this with the real thing okay and now we go to licenses oh my god guys we're finally there. Passenger license. There it can is. You haul, can you haul hazmat and passengers at the same time? That sounds like a fantastic video idea, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom. Yes, passengers are in fact a mod. So, yeah, that's uh, that'll be interesting. So, you could safely store it somewhere. Now you just need hazmat three to go with those passengers. I need hazmat three, and I need the the higher military ones. I think I only have military one. No, I have military one and two. I need military three so I I can nuke stuff. That'll be another thing. But nukes, yeah. nukes. Yeah, they've got uh, nuclear weapons that you can haul. I think or or nuclear waste, and it, I mean it makes a massive explosion. I've been told. So is that base game or mods? That's base game. <laughs> they were they were having fun. Oh man, so we can we can in fact run passenger trains. I don't know how passenger trains work out. Regional express train to food factory. Twenty. Would you have trains. to run the? Would you have to run the train different with the passengers to get the times and stuff? It seems... Like, would there be a separate bonus for? So the you um... didn't jostle these people around. I don't know. This express passenger job says that there's a $21,000 bonus with on-time completion, but the normal bonus is normally just half of the job cost, and the job cost for this is 10000 so it's it's like double, which is interesting. Fancy. Sounds like a good way to speedrun Military 3 for more explosions. Indeed. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, I, I do want to have passenger license be a thing on um as a, as a video on the channel not just a live stream because most people some people watch the vods but not terribly many from what the analytics say compared to the videos um so i think I'll, i will run a quick passenger train just to see what it's like and then uh and then we'll probably transition to train town from there i think 
But uh, let me cut out the coupler there. I'll pull this thing ahead, and I gotta go figure out where the hell the platform is. So, yeah, train question, over. train question for you: Why is the trailing truck wheels so much bigger on this locomotive than the leading pilot wheels? I'm not sure. Because it was oh. drawn by artists, mm -hmm. not people who know locomotives. Honestly, I'm about ready to go in and just say, hey, you want me to make you guys a new, new Mikado? Yeah, no. I think uh, Dero Valley is pretty, pretty tight on their actual dev team, I think. They're actually, oh, it's yeah. uh, not hi. the same you, thing. Was it a K36 that you run or a K37? K37. Damn, dang it. I was going to say, because uh, I might have gone with a buddy of mine, and I made a custom version of a K36 for my own road, and I just want you to rate this. Cause... I mean, I have operated K36s. I've never run one, but I've fired two of them, so. I'll just, uh, I'll let this Oahu NDEM SP style K36 just beat for itself. For itself. Uh, I'm going to cringe at this, I'm sure. Which ones, uh, what... What numbers are the K36s that you've run? 481 and 484. I haven't run either. Fired, but... Fired, sorry. Yeah. Where are those at? 481 is at the Drango and Silverton, and 484 is at the Coombrace and Soltec. And I say so, that I've fired okay. the 481, and I've really only fired the 481 from the Silverton Y to Silverton, but that's still more track than the museum has by, like, a factor of two-ish. So, I count it. So... But I if fired I the, the, the 84 all the way over, so. If I go with you to Colorado, um, can you get me throttle time? I'm kidding. I mean, throttle time I can't guarantee, but if you want to show up, get a little dirty, we could stick you in, in dirty places, so. I do that with the I, I do that on the high slur. So. I'm just saying, you're, you're asking that, but when you said to come down and record down there, you did not offer me the same. I'm in a position of higher power because I've been doing this for. Well, it's too super long, but for for a while. Legitimately, legitimately, I kind of want to be like, hey, can I like ride up here to like Colorado? The, the, it's going to be the railroads online K36 extravaganza, you know. Indeed. Is this the? I'm, this... I'm, ra I'm rambling. I'm sorry. This is our choo choo speaking, here. Speaking of that particular. Uh, thing in terms of future plans going places. Do we know if that's still a thing? K thirty six is for roads only. No. Uh, certain trips to certain places. Oh yeah, in the no. We'll, well, we'll still do that. Get some recordings. It'll be fun. Man, you're okay. not gonna come out. You're gonna come out to Sumter Valley that one that weekend. Um, I I probably won't be able to because I gotta sell my house. These are the mods I use for DRL Valley. Look, well, before I have to knuckle into this passenger train. You know what's fun about selling a house? Nothing. Literally nothing. You gotta empty it before you can sell it. And you, it's really difficult to buy a new house while having not sold your previous house. And it's almost like he's talking about things that are challenging that I'm dealing with. <laughs> Did Oh, I gotta... Way. Already kicked the passenger cars there. Bonk. Forgot to pull the pin on the coupler here. There we go. Do I have to go to the platform with these? One would assume. How does that work? Because they were parked in the yard. You should check the cars for people. Because I'm sure Dero Valley has that modeled. <laughs> Train E30 to Food Factory. That's got to be it. So... <laughs> it says 10... <laughs> it's actually synced up to my computer clock. That's kind of funny. It's actually 10.52. Um, so I think I got to back into this platform. Oh, but I don't need all these cars. I've got two two different cuts. Although, hang on. To get to Food Factory, we're gonna run through the. We're gonna run through. We could we could slip coach it, couldn't we? That's a meme. 
What does slip coach mean? Stupid crap that the British tried to do back in the day, where they they put special brake controls on the on the uh, interior of some of the uh, the coaches, and then they just cut them off and let the let the conductor brake the coach to a stop, and throw the switch behind the trains so that they wouldn't have to stop their express trains. It's kind of bad. You talking like. Polar Express emergency brake stuff? I mean, not emergency brake stuff, but, I mean, yeah, they would do stuff with it. Although, hang on, I guess if the, the Iron Moor, the Iron Mine train has to go on the, they have to go on two different platforms, so I've got them all knuckled in right now. We'll have to shove the one set of cars onto that platform, and then the other, other set we'll have to back up. So I'll have, to, I'll have to double over on top, which was not what I was anticipating. Okay, may maybe this is too much of an operation to, to do this for now. We'll just do the one set, and we'll just ditch the other set of cars at the platform. Dutch drop the passengers. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. What in the dear hell is the, that that is doing? God, gosh, I'm angry. Highest, give me three step. Um, I tried. I tried. I tried. To, <laughs> I tried. Uh, I tried three step anyways. I tried. That was a thing. Apparently, we've just got the air hose on this car just hooked into something, something vaguely that way. It's the the air brakes are in fact grounded on this train. <laughs> it's like that. Uh, oh, oh my goodness! That stupid train tear down mod where they had the uh, they had the confusion about the things that were electrical <laughs> wires and the things that were. Uh, Hydraulic or otherwise. That's right. All right, so we're we're just kicking the uh, those two extra passenger cars to wherever. Whistle says, "Hey, dude, hit the brakes a little bit." Okay, I've not looked at the documentation for the passenger job at all, but I'm just going to assume that I run in here and I press this, couple the cars, load the train at the platform, go to that station track. They're going dunk. I would assume that that alarm means go, so here we go. Don't alarms usually mean something's wrong? Uh, you'll hear it. Sounds like a, a bell saying go. Oh. Um. Alright, so we are going to Food Factory B1LP, and then we're gonna drop the cars off at the B5 when we're done. But we got a hundred, we got a, we got speed and we've got passenger trains, so. We should be lying to the food factory because it's where we just came from the last time I ran through here. All right, we're gonna see if we can bin some passenger cars apparently here. We got a hundred mile an hour speed limit. Sorry, hundred kilometer an hour speed limit and we are scooting. Speed! Speed and power! I want it all. Give it to me. Give it to me. Damn the pressure. Give it to me! Speed! Gotta go fast. Alright, Mick, leave this is now. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's the fastest I've gone in Deerell Valley. Bye, Choo Choo. 
Did you derail? <laughs> yeah. Um, Crazy old man cackling. <laughs> I, I haven't seen a derail yet. I see 110. Oh, there's the derail. <laughs> oh, threw, goodness. Threw the steam engine off the bridge very, very far away and then giggled about it for a while. Okay, well, that worked really well. Uh, reroll the tender there. That's that's all sold. Um, steam How are engine. Your cars? They're probably fine. The air, the air dumped right afterwards. Cat has awarded you with several many cups. <laughs> Just okay. all of the cups. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably <laughs> probably worth it. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. At least the cars didn't derail as far as I could tell. Nope, uh, we're back on and we're back underway. And we are a whole train again. Although I don't <laughs> think my errors have been. There we go. Stand Paul just gave you 20 here. bucks. Glad you did it. Glad I can make it to the live stream. Making a little late, but Heist is always derailing to make it on time. <laughs> thank, thank you, Paul. <laughs> glad, glad you're enjoying my hubris. We need more water. We're, we're running this thing out of pressure again because I need more water. And uh, yeah, new fastest speed achieved in Derail Valley. Express freight train or passenger train. And we also binned it, so... I don't know if the, I don't even know if the, do they have no yeah the passenger cars are okay they're fine so let's get in here whistle says yeah and do I we say, count this as a derail or me suffering for my own hubris thank you Mickley. a little bit late a little bit smidge, late I'm sorry smidge I didn't, late on the draw there yeah didn't have it booted up <laughs> doesn't have a soundboard he made it's of me sitting in stream for what like an hour, hour with that is. You know what? I I hereby cite brain fart. <laughs> your, your brain is just farts today. You have a lactose You're, brain apparently today. I I, um, I can't apparently. resist no more. I must get out the soundboard. Oh, you also have a soundboard. Hmm. This is the part where we just play high sounds. Oh God, you have one no! too, block. Please, please don't. <laughs> Stream gets invaded by self. <laughs> Explodes! <laughs> Neat. <laughs> I feel be your highest driving of me. Well, now we know what to do next time. Heist has to leave uh, momentarily. <laughs> we can just just use the soundboard to fill the void. <laughs> Naturally. I, I need I need to get on that. Uh, some people sent me some clips, but I have to go download the vod and then clip it to get the mp3 and that's too much work just download audacity and make it record your windows stereo mix and then just record it like a real man yeah but that's too much work like i already it's have audacity. not i already have audacity and i could but like that's less work you just yay. have to watch the file once instead of dealing with whatever bs you're just talking about yeah but i still have to record it and then clip it correctly and etc to make it play nice with the soundboard Lazy, that's nothing new. Hey, check that tunnel out. It's interesting. What tunnel? He's not running through a tunnel. He just went through a tunnel on the stream. Sorry, I know that was an hour ago, but still. I'm now entering the second tunnel, actually. I've crossed <laughs> the iron ore mine already. Oh, somehow I've looped back around and become topical once again. Yes, the tunnel. See, when you said tunnel, he was already like halfway through the yard for me, so either I'm ahead somehow or you're behind. And there's the entrance into the second tunnel. Gotta love how like nothing is supported whatsoever. It's just carved out rock. It's just well, rough hey, stone. You know, that's that's some tunnels exist like that. Rock Not tun this long. Rock tunnels at the Race and Toltec, man. With with no form of anything support wise? Nope. Not a single bit. What? That doesn't sound safe. That's why it's called Rock Tunnel. It's super hard. Brendan Massaro, welcome to the ESD Breakman. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully Somebody's the, gonna clip that the, so I can uh, take it out of context later. The emojis are uh nothing to do things. Enough anticipation. 
we are running this choo choo on like 60 psi right now. It's fine. And then high school is about to go. <laughs> I love that you like toggle yourself out of the window just to hit the signs. Right. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> Dunk do again. <laughs> and then Tristan went. <laughs> SpongeBob sounds dot JPEG. Love and it. And then you went. I love the SpongeBob sounds. They are my childhood. We're about a almost halfway to the food factory. We need to slow down. It's fine. I'm supposed to be able to do this job in 41 minutes. Okay. Should probably grab some air. The Milwaukee Road. Pretty lake. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's a neat map. It is. It's weird seeing passenger cars behind this thing. Actually, kind of looks really nice. Looks like it should derail. It's fine. That's the whole point, isn't it? Whistle says, hell yeah. Derail Mally. <laughs> when does the Huber 6 get at it? I need to go through my clips and find a, a good enough clip to loop for the Huber 6 to add it. I was going to use a, a Santa Fe 6 for the uh, the stream, but I didn't get my button gear. It broke. <laughs> hey, <laughs> big, I know that guy. Big Van Skizzesite with the Buck 69 top chat. Thank you, sir. Love it. That's uh, that's my buddy Ryan. He's just shit posting like he always does. You are still taking his money though, so. I am, gladly. <laughs> okay, hi. So I'm gonna give you a dollar, but I'm gonna need you to give me a dollar later. Um. <laughs> you see, that's not how this works. <laughs> you takes a cut, dude. Give me $20 and he'll give you $1. What? How much is YouTube's cut? I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up in the agreement again. Uh, there is a GP40 American locomotive that's modded in, and I thought I had it installed, but apparently not, so. GP30 is coming to the railroads online. That's the new big Nice. I thought we weren't supposed to be leaking stuff. My goodness. Well, it is, we can't. Well, I'm just really excited for the Am Amtrak tech tree, I think. The railroads online tech tree of Amtrak tech tree. It's nothing yes. but the class 70 and base, and base 2 colors. <laughs> okay, we got Okay, Heist, I got a great one in the comments for you. I'll pay you tomorrow for a hamburger here on Tuesday. No way. <laughs> Wait, I, I read that wrong. No! Forgive me, I have stupid. Well, <laughs> it's fine. You just you, you you didn't really change the balance of the stream at all. I mean, we already had Mickley, so yeah. <laughs> now there's two of us with no brain cells. Actually, that chat has suggested that we have a, a Easter egg whistle of you screaming ice. Oh, that would I'm be entertaining. Down have, I'm down for that. That'd be entertaining to have in the game. Oh, this is, guys, this is really cursed. Um... <clears throat> The passenger no, no, cars? No, no, no. It was uh, out over at the museum today, so they had a. Uh, I'm a little upset that I didn't get to see this. You guys know I'm a big World War II man. Yeah, they had an entire. They had a World War II reenactment over at my museum, and I wasn't there. And they had all kinds of cool stuff. They had like Google wagons, American M3 half, like half tracks, Stewart, all the cool stuff. Really cool. Dang it! Why did I miss that? 
We got a 50 coming up. We're doing about 60, so we're just gonna keep the hammer down. Careful, I might have to use the soundboard again. Too late. <laughs> what can I play that won't give us the Uh, something not copyrighted. Okay, I. Those are some spicy deer all numbers. It's fine. Yeah, when is Silva Gunner gonna sort of. start making railroads online rips? Nathaniel asking the real questions. Who's Silva Gunner? Silva Gunner <laughs> makes great soundtrack like remixes that are just <laughs> brilliant shit posts. Uh, ah. My favorite one is the Donkey Kong 64 rap, where they just make it about the coconut gun. It starts to hurt your brain how stupid it is afterwards. It's just beautiful. Here, I got, here, I got a good one. It's called Frederick Fitzgerald Fazbear's Pizza of Thor. Thingy Mababo. Now Donkey Kong 64 is the image just playing in my head, thank you. You're welcome. You, you've done this. I did this to you. I'm gonna go plug in my N64 and play it. That wasn't me. <laughs> um. This this what is this roller coaster of a railroad through here? Oh um, my goodness! <laughs> so apparently, Brian has invited you to his wedding. I mean, he says Brian? it was supposed to be highlighted by super chat, but did not. Oh, Ryan's getting married. It says, Heist, do you want to come to my wedding? Figure this would be the best, most inconvenient way to give you a save the date for uh, whatever month 10 is. The first of month 10. Uh, October 1st? Uh, I mean, shit. I'd go to Ryan's wedding. Hell yeah. Does that mean all of chat is invited or just Heist? Probably just me. Oh, man. But, yeah. All of chat wanted to go. <laughs> Uh, Paul, I do not have, I don't have that sound like that. CG! Oh, Wings! Wings knows of CG Coconut Gun! This is how you know that the soundtrack partnership was meant to be. So why do I hear Coconut Ball and you're writing that CG! Co -co Coconut Gun! Paul, you'll send $10 if you use Thomas and Friends DRL sad noises on the soundboard. That's Mickley that's got the soundboard. Hey, that would be if funny. You, if you send me the M if you DM me the MP3 files, I will add them to the soundboard. Let's do a spicy run by in your own by train. Like if you guys want to do all the work for me, I will add the button to the soundboard. <laughs> as, as long as it's not like inappropriate or something, it, I won't add just anything, but pretty much anything if it's a meme. Uh -oh. Oh, the whistle blew at me three times, so I'm gonna set the air up because I'm scared. You are scooting, so. Well, the, when the whistle blows three while running, it means stop, and so the whistle is autonomously telling me to stop. If we hear our own music remixes the Flintstones theme, you'll know that we've made it. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> I don't know. I found my content stolen on TikTok. Um, I've had people tell me that my experience... Oh, Jesus, what is this yard that we're running into? Oh, we're here. We've made it. We're at the food factory. We're even at the platform. Look at that. That tunnel was quick. Someone find me my cup. Did you derail again? Yep. That was quick. Do we okay, count this well, as a derail or me suffering for my own hubris? Okay, well, we derailed and I said I'd play the Milwaukee Road if you derailed, so... The Milwaukee Road. <laughs> I can't re-rail well, on a ladder. That's gonna be 10 grand to re- This is the most expensive passenger job ever. You should have just, uh, closed no, the... No, just cut the tender! Roll, man! Roll! What? You should have just closed up the air and let it roll, dude. Or you um, re railing later. Um. 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 Did you explode stuff? No. I'm confused. 
This All is right, not we're waiting for stream delay. This is not how what locomotives happened? work. And I'm I'm just glad that the chat is all of a sudden filled with all of my brakemen tossing <laughs> cups at me. This is all I ever wanted. Um yeah, so um Oh. Yeah, the air brakes the are The wheels now. are not moving. Yeah, that's why I'm going, what? Oh, I don't have any pressure anymore. I don't have enough How pressure in the air. Then? No, this is, this is... Okay, we've got enough space and we've got a lead. Uh, Greg, I would fire up your, D your steam engine, but I don't have time. I will ban you. Yes, that. <laughs> Straight to eight. I paid ten grand to reroll that piece of crap, and it doesn't have any steam. How dare it! Ice fire out, twin. Right. <laughs> Any okay. ton Baldwin log Mikado win. Just gotta grab it, shove it in there, and do the thing. Oh lord, this thing started accelerating. No, 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 no. Do we count this as a derail or me suffering for my own hubris? Bunk. It's fine. That was just um. It's fine. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I only hurt the passenger car a little bit. They'll talk to it during counseling. It all Just started. a gentle tap. The day I was born. Does, does Derail Valley model passengers suing you for bad I don't know. Stuff. The, de the passenger mod's a mod, so... And apparently the the air is all dumped still, so. You probably left the other cylinder cock open. Well, <laughs> it's just a tender. Well, yeah. The, so the, the so the close brake, it before the tender. The brake, but there is no there's no valve there. It's just a tender. It's a hard pipe. <laughs> so close the valve on the cars. Yeah, is what that, I was that saying. Would, that would make more sense. Then you're then you're just shoving through the tender brake. There's a cat on my lap. I'm jealous? Okay. Alright, I gotta shove this thing back into the station now. I need a glass of meatloaf! Yes, that. Ah! <laughs> Let's get this. Man, I've I just teleported through the through the level. Let me get this lined up. That was already lined. No, that was the yeah. No, that was not already lined. Let's line that. Okay. Now shoving the tender madness this way. The diesel seems to be pretty fast with those passenger cars, though. They must be pretty light. They are apparently. Uh, E30, yes, we're going into this platform track to unload. And I should probably get back in here and stop trains. So. Oh, we've still got sand going. Guide us, tender. It's already gone green saying that I'm in the platform. Like, the whole train's there. So maybe there is no spotting requirement? I don't know. Try that. So we get a bonus if we do this within time, and I somehow don't think we're going to do it because we dumped it all over the place. Only most of the train. And nothing of value was lost. All right. Now loaded, or unloaded, 
So we gotta go to B5SP. Which, which is, which is, okay, it is marked. That track. Do you have to unload the passengers and then shunt the cars? That is what it seems like. Which is part of the time trial, which, I don't know, that makes it interesting. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of neat. Huh. Our DE6 was blessed with a horn that actually sounds like something this time. Although we need to shove through like another car here. Okay, and I guess we're just gonna sandwich this uh, tender to forever be stuck between these cuts of passenger cars now. Is this thing made pressure yet? Nope. Oh, it's at zero percent, despite having been re-railed. That would be why it doesn't make pressure. They don't make pressure after you've killed them, apparently. All right, so we're lined into the 5SP. That's plenty fast. Can we can we see where we're going from here? Yeah, Nathaniel, feel free and send those my way. Yeah, the tender has become a passenger car. Dumped it. Uh, run to the station. D do we get the bonus? Wow. Those um those bonuses are really easy to hit still. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, hopefully we don't run into those later. I've managed to hit <laughs> the cars that were already in the uh, in the track, because there's no handbrakes, because why would there be handbrakes? Um, they've just been kicked. And so those are just going to go for now. You mean they don't have brakes? Yeah, they don't have handbrakes modeled, so they just they just roll as soon as you kick them. Because you have to tie the air in to make the air work, but they didn't model handbrakes, so they only had like half the system. Huh. So those cars are just going to go. Um... <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to pause and try and reboot, and we'll we'll see about doing Train Town. So, thanks for watching this chunk. For those watching VODs, appreciate all the ESD Breakman joining us, and we'll be back live.